Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, ages 18 and up, I'm Joe Cronin, and that's Tyreek Hill, the woman beater. <laughs> Randy Orton has been spotted in NXT Arena. When Raw, Raw, SmackDown, SmackDown, WWE, or AEW end, tune in to The Joe Cronin Show. Live, live, live on YouTube for review and reaction. Joe Cronin and Jake break down all the action. All of it. The Joe Cronin Show. Your source for wrestling opinions, news, and insanity. A wrestling podcast with attitude. Mature audiences only. Join our community of over 70,000 people. Subscribe free on YouTube to The Joe Cronin Show. Oh, can you feel it in the air wherever you are? Listening to this show on a Tuesday night. You're going to feel inspired. You're going to feel desired. And you're going to feel the fire and the rain. Real quickly, a couple of uh, housekeeping things we got to go over. Um, big time shout out, big time thank you to some of the most dedicated people that listen to this show. Not just the patrons on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Obviously, the patrons are mega dedicated, but to some of the uh, donators so far of the month as we let this show go live, let the alert go out to everybody. Guys, please. Hit that like button because we need it. You know what to do. You are sick of hearing people say about it. Talk about it. You know what I mean? Who doesn't? Who is annoyed? Oh, click the like button. Click the like button. Uh, I get it. But we got to have it, bro, and we don't have it yet. I mean, I can tell right now. It's like people don't know. It's weird. It's like almost want people want the show to fail if they don't click the like button. It's weird. They're like, man, fuck this show. You know what? I'm watching it, but I'm not clicking the like button. Fuck that. No, fuck, the, fuck you. Click the like button, god damn it. Oh, man, I swore in the first uh, seven minutes. Shit. Well, there goes the monetization, but whatever. Just more proof. Anyway, whatever. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the ghost. The ghost from... Uh, the ghost from CM Cox, Cox Career the hell shout out to the top donator of the month um let's just go over this list real quickly uh good lord the, <laughs> get this fucking guy's name bro the ghost from cm cuck no the ghost from cm cuck's career just want to say he is number one and that doesn't even include his super chats right there so hey man Thank you to the ghost from CM Cuck's career. Sith Negan, number two. Snarkbait, number three. The third star there. D. Welsh coming in fourth place. God Complex Rastafa with 47. Gerald Armstrong, Mirov, 90s car guy. Allison Tuckwab. Allison a little light right now this month. Derek. Well, actually, Allison donated Super Chats, and those don't count on this list. So, actually, Allison got fucked by the list, but... Sorry, Allison. You're probably more like number four or three or something. Uh, Derek, last but not least in 10th there with that 15. You could make the list. And I'm not talking about one of those 1940s Germany lists. I'm talking about my list. And my list is full of orgasms, okay? So you could have an orgasm too. You could make the list of Cronin this month. It only takes $15.50 to beat Derek. Um, so like you could be on the top 10. Where's the sound effect? Top 10. 
All right. Uh, there's the list. We'll show the list off uh, every show at this point. Why not? Let's have some fun, right? Come on. Come on, brother. God damn it. Oh, hockey reindeer. We The show ain't dead, brother. The show is far from dead because you see, brother, the other night on Monetize This, hundreds of people watching, hundreds of dollars dropping, crowning champs, going seven hours long, 100 bucks in ad revenue. Let me tell you something. The show is far from dead, brother. In fact, my show in 2023 is bigger than my show was in 2013 and in 2014 and actually in 2012 as well. So, no, we we are still going. We're still growing down there. Yeah. And we haven't even gone over to the Discord yet tonight. What's going to happen when we go over to the Discord, bro. It's going down on the Discord tonight. Randy Orton has been spotted at NXT. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Randy Orton spotted. Is he coming back? Is he there for practice earlier today? Is he showing up right now on NXT and I don't know about it and I'm not watching? Orton at NXT? Put the graphic up. I don't know. So he was spotted earlier today. We have video of that. We have some speculation. We have a report out. We'll talk about that. There's wrestling news to talk about. There's football news to talk about. There's world news to talk about. The CM Punk stuff. Remember two weeks ago, I talked about the CM Punk potentially suing AEW and Tony Khan and what that could mean and why it could happen, why it won't happen, why whatever, and the rumor and the, the, the verbiage that I was hearing. And everybody, people called me crazy. Even other YouTubers. There were YouTubers that called me crazy, including Catfucker himself and so many others that called me a psycho or a loser or a dum-dum or he just says things blah, 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 like blah, blah, blah. Now today... All at once, every single YouTuber, podcaster, news report, left and right, CM Punk to sue AEW? CM Punk lawsuit? Oh, uh. Yeah, they're just mad that I brought it up first, and uh, they're hating, brother. But that's what people that drive automatic Mustangs do, bro. They hate on other people. You know, they, they, they make up a narrative. And they spend their whole life hating Vince McMahon, even though without Vince McMahon, they would not be doing the very thing they're doing. So Vince McMahon is the ultimate evil, even though he created some of the best shit ever. I am absolutely sick and fucking tired of hearing fuckheads rewrite history that McMahon isn't a fucking goddamn creator of everything and a goddamn genius. Vince McMahon is a fucking goddamn genius. I don't care if he fucking makes a show tomorrow on Raw about cum puppets fucking each other in front of the audience. This guy made the show that you're literally watching and you wouldn't be watching it without him. You wouldn't be watching NXT. You wouldn't be watching nothing without Vince McMahon. So yeah, Vince does some retarded shit sometimes. Some of the stuff is definitely like fucking obsolete at this point. And he does ruin some things, and he does do some weird shit. But for all the weird shit and stupid things that Vince McMahon might do or doesn't do or whatever, there's a million things that he did that launched this fucking company into the goddamn atmospheres of the planet and why we're all sitting here actually watching it right now. So people really, really need to chill out on wanting him to die and wanting him to go away and... Whatever the fuck. When Vince McMahon has gone away, and we've already seen part of it now, because TKO is now taken over, right? TKO is now taken over, and W or UFC rather has taken over. So you know we've already started the process of McMahon being phased out, even though he's kind of back a little bit. So guess what? Someday when Vince is completely gone and Triple H is out of the picture for the most part and some huge corporations taking over the WWE like Disney took over Star Wars completely and and we're all sitting here we're going to be sitting here going fuck we had it good like we we didn't know what we had because now it's all a corporate Disney entity like so dude it's and it's never it's going to be the biggest thing ever for a while it's not going to change and we're all going to wish that you could go back in time gotta get back in time to when it was 
the way it was, and you know what I'm talking about, and you know I'm you know what I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying is true. You know it. But don't pretend you don't know it. You know it. All right, so we got this uh, background going on. I'm trying to set, I'm trying to make a new thumbnail because I really want to press this this Orton stuff and get into him. And I just feel like my my mood is turned more wrestling than um, Tyreek Hill and the football story that I was really going to get into. And I am still going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the Tyreek Hill stuff and some of the other bullshit. Patriots fan died over the weekend. How'd your football teams do? How did I do on my football predictions? You know, we're going to get into that stuff still. I just one of I, I'm shifting more wrestling oriented for now. Doesn't mean we won't talk about other things and whatever else. There's so much to talk about really and to get into. So, you know, in, in the end there's there's plenty of stuff to go on. Um NXT is ending in a few minutes, so we got that audience gonna be coming in. Um but yeah, I just wanted to I think I want to shift a little bit, make it more prominent to this at this point. But we'll talk about it all, man. We'll talk about it all. Let me see here. Where are we what do we got? Um, I think that will do better. Yo, Evo General, how you doing? How's everybody in the chat doing? If you guys want, uh, please leave a like if you can. If you want to support the channel, the donation link is pinned to the top of the chat. I'm going to read the chat in a few minutes, guys. I know I haven't been reading it. Um, I will read, I will read every single super chat. I will read every single Streamlabs donation, which is pinned to the top of the chat. And if you can become a member, join the membership party, bro. We got 69 members. 69 of you guys are members. You know what that means, bro. We're going to have an orgy like Tom Cruise style in Hollywood, bro. Um, A. O'Donnell just became a member 45 months. By the way, if you became a member and you said something and didn't get read, um, I, will, I, I think I can catch it. So don't worry. I will see it. Even if it doesn't read on the air on the thing, I'll be able to read it. Uh, but I do want to hit Alex, uh, or Mr. A. O'Donnell with the 45 months as a member. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, Vince may be cra a crazy motherfucker with a love children mustache. Jesus Christ. Uh, he really does have the Vincent Price weird mustache. Um, Vince may be crazy mother effer with a love child mustache, but we still love him. We still love. Vince McMahon. I exactly. Like I'm never gonna hate on the guy that much. I mean, I, I mean, I am gonna get angry. I'm gonna yell sometimes, but I'm always gonna dial it back to. In the end, uh, dude, Vince McMahon gave us the '80s of WWF. That alone, that alone, is worth me never giving him crap, uh, uh, no matter what he does. Um, Vince McMahon gave us the '90s. Hello, Vince McMahon, the 2000s. I mean, bro. Vince McMahon has really only had, you know, um, I would say all of 10, we're about, th we're about 13 or 14, we're, I'm going to give, I'll give you this, we're about 14 years into what I would call the PG Bland era, right, era, the Bland times, we're about 14 years into that, it started around 2008 for me, 2008, 9, whatever, and it really, what it was, was you know, the idea to go back to PG and a lot of that had to do with corporate stuff. And so that's the first time that corporate bullshit really sniveled its way, snuck its way back into the WWE and kind of nulled it of uh, creativity a bit. And um, that's that's where we're at. But one thing that can one thing that can save you from obscurity sometimes is star power if you have enough star power. Right. If you have enough star power, you can kind of do it. Uh, I'm going to play some of my NFL predictions later and we're going to go over it. And what did I do? Did I get wrong? What did I get right? I don't know. Um, that may be on the bonus show in the NFL show. Uh, maybe. I don't know. On Patreon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just rattling off stuff as we speak. And will I go to Discord? Maybe. So at some point we may go to Discord if the show extends. So that could happen, too. So stand by, stand back and stand by. Uh, everybody on Discord. Let's go to, uh, well, let's see what's up there. It's my birthday, so you became a, a member. 
I really got to change that. It hasn't been my birthday in like four months. I don't know why that's. Colonel Stutters, uh, thank you, sir, for becoming a member. I really got to change that audio. Um, he says, Pacharo sucks. Pacharo sucks is what Colonel Stutters said. I, I suck so bad I blocked him on Twitter because I couldn't deal with him anymore. His stupid shit when the Patriots are playing. I just, I want to stab him. I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 years. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Looks like your Patriots will win against the Jets. Zach Wilson is not the guy to help the offense get better. Beating the Bills was a fluke. I will be at the Miami game this Sunday against the Broncos. And why am I blocked on Twitter? I'm so confused. Because you pissed me off, Pacharo. Thank you for the three dollars, though. Um, I'm sure I'll unblock you eventually, but you fuck, you're annoying on Twitter, bro. Um, let me tell you this. I don't know, bro. The Patriots and the Jets are in the same situation they were last year. The Patriots and the Jets are now going to play just like they did last year for who's not the worst in the AFC East. So that's not really fun. The Jets are definitely the worst team. The Patriots should win. However, I could actually see the Patriots losing to the Jets because now they're going into the Jets' place, and who knows what could happen. So, bro, the Patriots could be 0-3 for the first time since, like, fucking 1995 or something. But I know the Jets are a worse team, but anything can happen. You know what I mean? The Patriots are the best average team I've ever seen right now. The Patriots are literally the best average team I've ever seen. Uh, just bonehead play. Like, it's just so weird, man. The Patriots are so bizarre right now. This is such a strange team to watch. It's so weird. Um, I don't even know what to tell you. It was It's infuriating to watch them. I told you guys I should have stuck by my pick last the other day about the Patriots because what I told you guys about the Patriots was Last year, the Patriots kept themselves in most games and then made it look like they could win, but then lost in the end. So they grinded out the whole game and then lost, right? Instead of just blowing, getting blown out all the time or always being shitty, they were like, yo, look at this. We're pretty good. Oh, no, we fall apart now. Poopy. Like, so that's way worse. And, and what has happened this season in two games? The Patriots are literally picking up where they left off last season with, oh, look, we blew it. They're going to kill us. Oh, wait, no, we're actually pretty good. See? Oh, oh, we blew it again. Oh, my God, wait, are we mounting a massive crazy comeback at the end? Oh, no, we took a shit on ourselves. Like, that's the Patriots right now, bro. They're playing like the old Jets, and the Jets are playing like retards. So it's like, you know, whatever. Mac Jones, Mac Jones, you know, Mac Jones throwing the deep ball, bro. Mac Jones' deep ball is basically, okay, let me explain something. Mac Jones, when he throws slants, doesn't have enough zip on the ball to throw slants. So sometimes the Patriots run a good slant, or I'm sorry, screen, a good screen pass or screen play. And then other times the ball almost gets intercepted several times. And then f when Mac Jones throws deep balls, they're almost always intercepted. It's like, so when Mac Jones throws screens, he's like, oh my God, I hope you get it. When Mac Jones throws deep balls, he's like, oh my God, I hope you get it. But when Mac Jones throws slants and passes over the middle, and routes over the middle, and short passes, and decides to even run it sometimes, those are all fine. Those are all fine. The cuts, the slants, the slots, the dink and dunk, those, the straight shots down the middle sometimes, those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. But all the deep balls and all the balls to the corners are practically always like, Hope you get it. 50-50. 50-50 ball. I hate that. I hate that. But anyway, that's how I feel. 
A Patriots fan was killed at the game the other day. Despite the fact that Tyreek Hill said the Patriots fans are the worst fans ever. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I'm being told that it was a Dolphins fan that punched the Patriots fan. Uh, I don't know what's what's up with that. Let's 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 see if the report tells us. Why can't it just be fun? Those are the heartbreaking words from a woman whose husband died after getting caught up in a fight at a football game. A diehard Patriots fan. It's weird too because I'm tell I'll tell you guys, listen. I'm I've been, I've been around Foxborough a lot. Patriots games compared to other football stadiums, Patriots state Gillette Stadium is fairly like tame. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the Patriots fans are very like it's very bourgeois. Like it's very like I don't know these these fans are used to winning now in the Super Bowl, but they're also New England fans who just Want to have a cup of coffee and a beer and like, hey, like it's not really, it's very usually to me when I go, it's very safe. It's very joyful. Like it's not that rough to me. You know what I mean? Like it's not a Philadelphia Eagles crowd. You know, it's, it's, it's people who've got money. You know what I mean? People who, who got money, like who are going to a game we're blue collar but like well groomed blue collar you know you don't i don't ex- i'm just saying bro i'm not saying patriots fans aren't annoying and we're not obnoxious like we're very yankees celtics montreal canadians almost like you know we it's i i i wouldn't like us if i wasn't us i'm sure but in, in the end, you know, usually nothing too crazy happens at the stadium compared to what I see at other stadiums. I rarely see bad things at Gillette Stadium, but my God, bro, somebody got in a fight and died the other night. And he was a 30-year, I think, season ticket holder. Crazy. And he was in the stands cheering his team when a fight broke out. One witness says he took a hit to the head and fell to the ground. Stephen Fabian has more. It's chaos at Sunday night football as rival fans go at it. So it was the Dolphins fans fighting with the Patriots fans. Um, so the so you know it's funny because Tyree Kill said the Patriots fans were these nasty people and whatever, um, and then a Dolphins fan kills a Patriots fan in the stadium. <laughs> now, not to say that the Patriots fan didn't start it by saying, "Hey." Fuck your mother's whore, you know, and then, I don't know, but I'm just saying it's weird. Fists are flying. Tragically, when the dust settles, one man did not get up. 300 level, guy not breathing. 53-year-old Dale Mooney died after witnesses say the lifelong New England Patriots fan was punched in the head at Gillette Stadium. Joe Kilmartin was there and shot this exclusive video. It seems like this had been escalating in the stands for a while, right? Security had gone up and spoke to them once in the first quarter and I think again in the third. Then late in the fourth quarter with the Patriots losing to the Dolphins, you can see Dale Mooney in a number 10 jersey walking towards the guy he had been arguing with. Some people try to get in the middle of him. They kind of, somebody pulls his shirt over his head. His head popped up. The Dolphins fan delivered two punches to his head. He fell back into a seat, clearly unconscious, and he never regained consciousness. Paramedics perf- I, I I do want to say, I don't want to assume anything by the video that I did see. I don't want to assume anything. I don't know what happened. This is obviously going to go to court, right? There's going to be... That, like this guy's probably the guy that punched him is going to have to defend himself against manslaughter charges or something like that. But what I will say is, I don't know what happened, but in the video, it looks like the the Patriots fan is going back into the stands towards the guy, and then the guy punches him twice. So I don't know. I don't know. This is why I try to avoid all fights at any cost. Like, I never want to get in a fight. I never, you never really want to get in a fight. You try to avoid all fights at any cost, especially in a public stupid thing like this or whatever, because you just, every time you get in a fight, you risk your life. It's, you can, it only takes one punch to the head the wrong way to kill somebody. And it's so stupid. Or to like alter your life forever. 
So like, unless you're like fighting over like someone, someone's trying to kill your kids or someone's trying to abduct your kids or someone's assaulting your kids or your family or something like for real. Like, I'm not talking about somebody spilt some Coke on your kid. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like, you know, some real shit. It's like just not worth it, bro. But they're probably drunk. But it's crazy that they got broken up several times before. These same people were getting into an argument before several times and then they they got asked to break it up and then they couldn't break it up and then this happened again the third time and they got it's probably going to change um regulations at Gillette Stadium like they're probably going to be instructed that if anybody is ever getting in a fight or an argument they're to be ejected immediately or relocated it's going to be one of those two things like they're gonna that's probably what's going to happen like if there's a disturbance, you know, the people can be, will be asked to move seats if they agree, as long as physical alter, physical altercation hasn't happened yet. But like, bro, if you, if, if there's proof that these guys were tussling earlier and broken up and then broken up again, and then the third time they got in a fight and the guy died, bro, that's security being fucking stupid. And that's going to change the laws or rules at the stadiums into like, yo, the minute there's a problem, they're gone. And that's what's going to happen at this point. I mean, the guy didn't look, I mean, it looks like me if I was 60. If I was 60 years old, like the guy looks, you know, like I would look at 60. And he he's dead. Crazy. Mm. Formed CPR on Mooney to no avail. The mood quickly fell silent, and very somber. It was... It was like, we all kind of knew we had just seen somebody die. Now, this was not an isolated incident. Football season has just begun, and we're already seeing a whole lot of violence at stadiums across the country. Dude, what's crazy is we see these crazy fights in other stadiums where people are just getting fucking knocked out and blasted, and you're seeing these guys just beat the shit out of each other all over the place, and people getting knocked out and all kinds of stuff. And nothing comes of it. It's like there's a big brawl and it's horrific and stuff. And then later it's like, oh, okay, another fight at the stadium. Oh, well, on to the next thing. Um, and nobody ever dies and whatever. And yet at Gillette Stadium, this Patriots and Dolphins fan get in a fight that doesn't look like much. I watched the video. It, it really doesn't look like much. It's just a couple of punches. I've seen way worse. Way crazier shit. And this killed somebody. It's fucking crazy. Now a fan has died as a result of violence in the stands. His grieving wife, Lisa Mooney, told the reporter, I feel numb. I just can't believe this is for real. Why can't it just be fun? No charges have been filed. Authorities say they're waiting on autopsy results to determine the cause of death. What? Oh, that's great. I that's um that's wild to me that there's no charge. The guy who did it, that guy must be sweating fucking bullets. The guy that did it, and he's probably fuck. He probably feels bad too. Maybe I don't know. But Tyreek Hill went on to say that the Patriots fans are the worst fans in the NFL. I don't know if you guys heard this. Tyreek Hill, um, saying the Patriots fans are are the worst fans. Um, or one of, or one of the most nasty or toxic fans or something like that. I don't know. And, uh, I thought, I thought that was very interesting. I thought that was very interesting. Let's, let's, let's hear that clip. Let's hear from, uh, Tyreek Hill. He's got, uh, six penises on his head. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh, it felt it felt tremendous, man. Um, those those fans are, you know, some of the worst fans in the in, in the NFL, and, I, and I'm gonna stand on that, man, because they are they are real nasty, and some of the things that they were saying wasn't, you know, I wouldn't say in church. So um, yeah, it felt great to uh, wave goodbye to the fans, and I'll do it again. Bye. Well. It's too bad when you beat your pregnant wife or girlfriend, uh, she didn't wave goodbye to you, but she wanted more beatings from you, so she stayed with you, I guess, or came back to you. So Tyreek Hill, the pregnant woman beater, telling us all how just nasty words the Patriots fans are. 
by the Patriots fans say nasty words. And Tom, you know, I will give Tyreek Hill a little bit of credit. He didn't play the race card, right? He didn't say like the fans, you know what, you know, people in Boston say, or you can imagine what they say to me, or they called me the N word. He didn't pretend or fake or go to, or even if people have said something like that to him, he didn't say that. So I will give Tyreek credit for, you know, not playing the race card or victim card in that way. So he gets a little bit of credit there because he could have gone into some bullshit fucking thing, but he didn't. But he does have six dicks on his head and he does beat pregnant women. So I will never really believe a guy who beats pregnant women, you know, um, uh, anything that he says, really. And when you look at some of his other escapades over the years, um, so I hope that he falls in the dolphin tank and a dolphin in Miami eats his privates. Um, you know, and speaking of nasty things that New Englanders said, here's some more nasty things. You know, I hope you rent an RV and go camping in the fall of 2027 and your whole family goes off a cliff and in, in the forest and a bear eats your dick. Okay. That's what I hope happens, Tyreek Hill. I hope a bear eats your dick in front of your family on a vacation in 2026. And the only thing that's left after the bear eats your dick and the RV catches fire is your last touchdown football you caught as a dolphin that you cherished and kept in the RV trophy hut. And the only thing left is that ball. And the pigskin ball rolls away from the RV. As all of the belongings in the RV burn and your family is mauled by a bear. And then I hope a homeless man, who's also a rapist, finds the ball before authorities get there to put out the fire and figure out what's going on. And he just leaves with the ball, hooks up with a guy from NBC in New York, and they both list the ball on eBay and he makes seventy thousand dollars off that ball, and and then he's able to get an apartment and get a job and changes his whole life, all because your fucking camp camping accident, and you're dead. Okay, so how about that, Tyreek Hill, you fuckhead? And by the way, a Dolphins fan killed a Patriots fan in the crowd. You got nothing to say about that? Well, I guess he's just following after you, right? Because when you're in the stadium in the crowd and you're talking shit to people, I guess the next uh, escalation for you is to beat them. Just like if your girl's talking shit about your little ding dong and so you beat her even though she's pregnant. That's what Miami Dolphins fans do. They kill people in the stadium in the stands and they beat their pregnant uh, girlfriend. So, you know, you can say all you want about the Patriots fans nasty words you hate Donald Trump, obviously, too, because he says mean words on Twitter. But you know what, Tyreek Hill? I hope your family dies in a campfire accident, you fucking scumbag piece of shit. And you're not going to win a Super Bowl because I still think that Buffalo is better. And I don't think you're going anywhere. And fuck you, Tyreek Hill, with your fucking cock dreadlocks on your head. Anyway, uh, NXT's on the table tonight. We'll talk about it. We got we got lots of shit going on. Lots of shit going on. Yo, Extreme Shaft, why don't you go watch fucking doxers and fucking terrible people and get the fuck out of here with your dolphin ass? Why don't you go sell a car to a guy that wants to kill you, you fucking stupid fuck? Go fuck yourself, Extreme Shaft. You fucking weird fucking troll fuck who just fucking watches weird people and does weird goofy shit behind the scenes. Go fuck your mother, bro. Why don't you go dent someone's head? But you know what Dolphins fans do is they attack people violently. They attack pregnant women. They attack people in stands who are like 58 years old. They attack older people in the stands and women. That's the facts so far. So because you could say the Patriots fans are nasty. Now, we don't know what the nasty things they said are. We don't have that recorded yet. Like, Ty, you know, Tyreek Hill didn't say any of the things they said. So we don't really know what they did really say that was gave them such a boo-boo, you know, we really don't know. 
Um, you know, he hasn't complained about Philadelphia fans and some of the other fans, but he has complained about New England fans. So I don't know what they said to him that made him go boo boo, but they said something. But what I do know is he beats women who are pregnant and a Dolphins fan killed a Patriots fan in the in the crowd. I know that. That's what I do know. Those are the facts. If you don't like them, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're Joe Biden. So I don't know, bro. I'll just have a sip of water now. So extreme shaft, you know, you can you can just stop talking at this point. Or you can donate. It's my birthday. Hey, O'Donnell. So you became a... A member. Hey, O'Donnell, bro. Thank you so much for becoming a member. You beast. Can you imagine if Jade Cargill... And CM Punk both went to NXT. Joe, look at the Texas fight I sent you. Please, brother. It's my Evo birthday. General, I will. Yes, I will. So you became yes. a, a member. Oh, Evo General. Uh. Yo, I had Nick Chubb the other day, and he got raped. Becky cut a Sean's view thing. I can't even. It won't even open. Um. Nick Chubb tore his ACL, MCL, and PCL. Damn. Well, that that's why I didn't win anything the other day. I bet five bucks, and I lost all five of it, and it was mostly because of Nick Chubb. Let's check out what Evo General sent me. Um, Texas fans were fighting. See, these guys didn't die. The old Patriots fan got killed and murdered in the stadium by a Dolphins fan. Now, the Dolphins fan might have been protecting himself, to be fair. We don't know, but Texas fans are fighting, and, uh, this was the college game. This was the big college game, right? I don't understand college football, so I don't know, but I think this was the college game. All right, let's let's see what what happens here. Oh my goodness, it's broken out. I believe in these fans are trying to separate these guys now. And they're just going oh, they're working them over now. One down. Number 10 trying to stop him. This guy's yelling at him. They're holding this guy down and now Pierce is on the ground, too, being pummeled. The white women are trying to break it up. That's always dangerous. A man gets shoved down. There could be a racial element to this. We don't know. But what I do know is people are coming in from the outside trying to break it up, and this guy's trying to take cheap shots. And now people are getting blindsided from left and right who are just trying to this is the problem when you try to break up a fight and then someone says, okay, I'll break it up, but then someone sucker punches them from behind. Now, a minute, well, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this man, I think he tried to molest this woman in the cart. He, Oh, look at that. You see that? That's Obviously, that's a rape thing right there because he reached for her breast. I don't care. You can't convince me that this wasn't an attempted grope. And I get it. You're in the heat of a battle, so you're like, well, guess what? No one's going to think that I'm trying to grab a titty while I'm in the middle of war with another man. But nothing gets you more horny than war with another man. The testosterone is flying, and you see these big titties, uh, and you just got a re oh, almost got him. Almost got him. I'll fucking kill you, bro. You want to... Oh, wait, look at them. Oh, hey, touch my titty. It was so close. So close to getting that titty. Liddy the titty. This has to be one of the weirdest... Fi like, this has to be one of the most, like... We don't really want to... Like, none of these punches really landed. Like, did all these people drink the same terrible beer? 
that made them unable to land punches. Maybe this is why somebody died at Gillette Stadium because New England people, um, you know, they are soft and weak apparently, and apparently Florida people land punches, which is weird because I went down to Florida and the Florida people I met were pussies. You know what I mean? And Boston people up here would beat the shit out of them. So I'm actually embarrassed that the fan died at Gillette Stadium the other night. I'm embarrassed for Boston people that we lost somebody the other night to a dolphin punch. What kind of fucking person loses to a dolphin punch? Those fucking pussies in Florida. So, like, a lot of people are like, oh, his life and, like, you know, it's a terrible tragedy. Yeah, it sure is a tragedy. A fucking Florida Dolphins fan. I mean, the only thing that gives me hope is that he's one of these New England fans who was raised a Dolphins fan because back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, a lot of New Englanders were were Florida were Miami fans because we didn't really have a team back then. So people up here t- t- typically rooted for Miami a lot. There was a lot of Giants and Miami fans up in New England before New England really started chugging along in the late 70s. Um, and so because of that, there's a lot of fathers who raise sons who raise sons Dolphins fans, and even though they are Dolphins fans and Florida fans, technically they're New Englanders, so they're pretty tough. But the Florida fans are pussies. I have been down in Sunrise, Florida, bro, or Sunrise Stadium and the hockey games, Fort Lauderdale, and let me tell you, bro, unless you got a gun, you a pussy in Florida. I'm sorry to say. I've been down there. I love you, Florida guy. I love my Florida friends. I, I do. I love you guys. But I'm just saying, I went down there with four dudes from South Boston and myself, and, bro, I think we could have beaten up anybody, taken anybody's woman. I think we could have taken people's cars, women, cash, whatever. I think we could have taken people's children if we wanted to and raised them and said they were ours because I'm just telling you, bro, those people that I met in Fort Lauderdale were soft as shit. So unless there's gangsters with guns that I didn't run into, everybody else, no. Except for the Boston and New York people who who moved down there and live there, I was not afraid of a single soul besides that. Besides that, just saying. Uh, Sal Martin, I hope you choke on a cannoli, you fucking Italian piece of shit. Okay. Every damn night. It doesn't matter the name. The game is the same. Gigi Dolan, Electra Lopez, Thea Hale, Roxanne Perez. <laughs> Yo, Becky Lynch is going full Sean's view. It doesn't matter the game, the shame, the blame, the dame. I'll beat her up. I'll smack her around. I'll take her around town and drown her in the Sahara Desert. I'll rip her. It's like... Wow. Uh, that was that was hard to listen to. All that mojo that Becky Lynch took in last week when she came out to NXT man and they got good ratings, that was all just I mean that you might she just pissed on it right there with whatever that was. Let me tell you the the rhyme the time the the dime. Wow. I mean Wow. The slime, the dime, the rhyme. Let me tell you something. I'm here. I'm queer. I'll steer. I'll, I'll go. I'll show. I'll Joe Cronin show. Welcome to another edition of show. And I will not be satisfied until that happens. But I'm going to put a, a due date on that. There is going to be a line that we're not going to cross. And that line is April 2016 because if I don't reach a hundred thousand subscribers by WrestleMania 30 yes ladies and gentlemen do you remember when the amazing atheist was the most shameless e-beggar on YouTube all the proof now here we go now hear me out really hear me out don't shut me down you have to listen to this entire video to see where I'm coming from and seeing where I am right and those people 
are wrong. That originally exposed video of me that has caused so much uproar and controversy, no doubt can now be laid to rest right now and for the cow, the blow, the smile, the cow, the WWE and me and D and we. Becky Lynch cutting a full Sean's View promo. Unbelievable. There's Getty Lee in the chat. Look at Getty Lee. Look at him. He's a little weirdo, huh? Getty? Getty, what's up, Getty? Oh, Getty, I just timed you out by accident. Fuck. Getty, I just timed you out by accident, bro. How do I untime out somebody? You can't do that? Fuck. Sorry, Getty. Oops. Fuck. My bad, bro. My bad. Shit bomb. Shit bomb. Rockstar to look like Piper hit her with coconut. Oh, oh, oh no. That's not okay. Rock's daughter looked like Oprah Winfrey's the mom. That's a. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The raw. If yeah, what can I say except you welcome? Yeah. The Rock, baby. Where, let me see that dog. I don't. I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna sit here and make fun of, um, someone's looks. You know what I mean? Like in The Rock's daughter, I think she's kind of like got a hotness to her. To be honest, bro. Like she's got a. The only re, the only reason why I couldn't date her, not that she would ever want to date me, and I'm married anyway, and who gives a fuck. But the reason why I couldn't date her is because sometimes she like looks like The Rock, and so it would fuck with me bad. Like, she's going to have to marry a non-wrestling fan, I feel like. You know, but I think, you know, she kind of like... It's weird, bro. She Sometimes she looks a little different. But then sometimes, I mean, bro, that's that's a very... Pr she's very pretty right there. You know, like, that's pretty hot right there. That's like, wow. That's stunning. You know, there, though... I don't know. That looks like The Rock, and that's terrifying to me. Because now it's like I'm, you know, hooking up with The Rock, and that's weird. And she looks all right right here, you know? And she's with The Rock there. She just looks like, she just looks nice there. The Rock looks good, you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I, I can't sit here and, I'm not going to judge someone's, you know, like, I don't know. I think she looks fine to me on the, I think, you know, she's got a look on TV. I'm, you know, I'm worried about how, you know, they'll develop her and how she'll do. And I hope for her that she gets better and gets good enough to where, you know, she can be uh part of the show in a good way. You know, you don't want the bloodline to end. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, I just you can't make fun of somebody's daughter like this. I I I think she looks great. I don't know why people do that. I don't get it. I don't get it. I see what's happening here Your face is made of ugly and it's strange Don't even know just why you look Like you got hit in the face with a book Look at your eyes They're weird It's kind of strange When you're staring at a fugly bitch What can I say? You're fugly Even though you got the rocks DNA What can I say except you're fugly You make me think I should go gay Alright, I'm sorry. No, I apologize. That's terrible. No, I think she's pretty. I do think she's pretty. Um, I think that I think one of the problems people have is that she looks so much like The Rock it freaks people out. Um, my daughter, I think my daughter sometimes looks like me. So it'd be weird to like see her like, you know, when she gets older, what she, you know, it's, I, I, it's just like, I wouldn't want people making fun 
of anybody's, you know, like looks like that because I don't get it. You know, I don't in some I like there can be people who are considered one way that look a different way to other people. Or some people are hot to people. Some people aren't. I don't know, bro. I think she's nice looking. I don't think she's pretty. I think the problem is, though, I just couldn't date her because I knew she's The Rock's daughter. You know what I'm saying? It should just be weird. Like, The Rock's daughter. I think she's nice, bro. I don't know. I think she's all right. I don't know what people's... Uh, I don't get... I don't know. I Yeah, I just... I don't know. I don't really have that that neck beard wrestling urge to be like, let me shit on somebody. So weird at this point. I like the, the I like the husky eyes though. I'm digging that. Look at her hair. You wouldn't be, if you were at the bar having a drink and this girl started talking to you, you wouldn't be like, Oh, all right. You know, come on. I think she's, I think she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. She just looks like The Rock a bit, and that's weird to me because I'm, I'm like a huge wrestling fan. Casey is raw! What up, Casey? Very crude and inappropriate lyrics. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's okay. She'll be enjoying life, rich, killing it. I'll be dead, probably, at that point. You know what I mean? Um, Yo, Casey, what's up, bro? What did you do to Scott the other day, huh? Holy shit, did that guy want to kill you? I do want to apologize to, to him a bit. You know, I sort of grinded him on all this stuff, and, you know, um, I don't really know what's going on, so, you know, sorry to everybody. Didn't know what was happening, but I just thought it was funny. He really was angry at you. Um, I found that to be delicious, though, by the way. Um, so, I don't know what's going on, I must admit, but uh, we'll see. Shit bomb! Poor Pat's fan. Last game was lost due to a tagaboo-boo. Yeah, you know, that's the thing that sucks, is that Patriots fan got knocked out by a Dolphins fan. And on top of that, it's like, bro, that's the last game you saw. That sucks. Like, that's the last game you saw. Like, that dude, that just blows. Like, that, it hurts my heart to think, like, this is the last Patriots game this guy went to. He got fucking knocked out by a Dolphins fan, and he's dead. And the last thing he saw was the Patriots just with no Tom Brady, just getting the shit beat out of them. You know, Randy Orton spotted. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. <laughs> Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Shit bum. Nia Jax versus Piper Niven. Golden Corral Street Fight. I'm wondering if they're just... Oh, my God, Jesus. I'm wondering if they're just trying to work in Jade. That's what I think. I, I, I wonder if it's like, okay, Jade's coming to WWE. Nia Jax is going to like run through everybody. Nia Jax is going to beat everybody. She's going to crush everybody. And then like when she's like, nobody can stop me. Nothing can stop me. I'm Nia Jax, you know, then Jade, maybe Jade Cargill shows up and people are like, who is this woman? You know, what the hell is this? Who is this? My God, look at this woman, Nia Jax, you know, blah, blah. And then they just, she just, and she just wrecks Nia Jax after Nia Jax has been wrecking everybody. And maybe she slams Nia Jax. That'd be really fucking cool if they could pull off that, or maybe that's too early for that and they'll do it in a match. But I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if they won't bring in Jade Cargill. I, I, I'd i always said bring her in like an evil heel Hulk Hogan. I see Jade Cargill as Hulk Hogan. I, I've been saying this for years. You can go back and listen to me from years ago. I want her to be doing the Hogan stuff. So what I would do with Jade Cargill, 
I would give Jade Cargill this like USA, like like the woman of the people, like she's the thing, you know, this John Cena female type of situation. They got to get her good music. They have to get her good music. And they got to get her cutting promos like she's one of us, like a human in the America. And she's like, I'm sick of the world, the way the world is now. Everybody's got an excuse. I'm too short. I'm too this. I'm black. I'm white. I'm this. I'm that. Like, like bitch, I got this way because I have determination and I have like blah, blah, blah. And I'm crazy. And she just was, and she just is game, bro. And she's like, give me anybody and everybody and anything. And she's just wild. And she's, uh, she can come down the ring with this fire entrance music and just be this thing. Now, if they don't do that, they can obviously make her this crazy heel. And I, I, I think that they could do that easier. You know, make her this Hollywood Hulk Hogan type of heel. And if I was them, I would, I'd go right into the fact that she's Hollywood. You know, Jade Cargill is destined for Hollywood and she's, she's only here as a stepping stone. Do you know what I mean? Like, it'd be great if she came out and were to say that sort of thing. Like, I'm going to make this short and simple. I'm not here to entertain everybody. I'm not here to be the, 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 is, the, est, the, the biggest, bestest, and whatever anybody says here. Like, I'm here to wreck bitches, win all the championships, and make movies. I'm here to be in the Fast and the Furious 11. I'm here to be in, um, what's that fucking Sylvester Stallone movie? The Untouchables. I'm here to be in the Untouchables. I'm going to be the host of a daytime TV show that's going to be bigger than Ellen, bigger than Jerry Springer, bigger than anything you've ever seen in your life. Girls are going to want to be me. Men are going to want to be with, want to be with me. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, that's going to happen, but it ain't ever going to happen with anybody in this arena because you all are nasty as hell and I'm a star. It won't take me long to get, you know, just like just be this like I'm using wrestling. You know, I'm already the best in the ring. I'm already the best on the mic. I'm the best actress. I'm the like I have the best looks. I have the best matches. Just just come in with this nasty fucking fuck everybody vibe. So you could go either route, right? You could build her up as what Lacey Evans could have been if she was a face. Build up Jade Cargill that way. Or you could um, build her as, as a heel. By the way, I would make Jade Cargill's entrance music a Hard Knock Life Annie remix. Like, do we have a rock song version of of any hard knock life. Like do we have that. Does that exist out there. Like but make it more like evil. Do you know what I'm saying. A and change the words to. It's a hard knock life for you. Because I'm the best bitch. You ever seen. In the ring. I'm going to smash your face. And head. You'll be lucky if you ain't dead. It's a hard knock life for you. I'm going to beat you black and blue. I don't care who you. Like, like, bro, she needs to come out to some crazy, like, just nasty shit like that. That's just like, I'm a bitch and I'm going to fuck you up. And I'm crazy. And I want Jade Cargill to come out with a robe, and I want her to come to the end of the entrance ramp. Then I want the lights to hit her like Bobby Lashley almost, and I want some bitch behind her, like some little man or a little woman or something, maybe preferably a little man, though, to be to just take her robe off her for her to be like, ah, and fucking, and then he just, and then, and then, and then he bows to her, and then she slaps him in the face, and then he leaves with the rope, I, with the robe. I want Jade Cargill to do that. I want a little man or a little woman or something to remove the robe, and then bow to her, and then, and then her to be like, 
come here, slap, and then and then her to point, and then him to leave. And then she turns around and fucking, uh, and then she comes down to the ring. That's what you got to do with Jade Cargill, bro. Whether you make her a face or a heel, it's just got to be good, bro. What's the ghetto theme sound like? What's the Jay-Z song sound like? No, it's too soft. That could be it. That's close to what I'm thinking about. But we got to make it more like for Jade. Like, and make it its own thing. Like, did you hear what I... Like, I'm telling you, dude. Let's get this thing pumping. Let's get this thing pumping. But, like, it's got to be good. What's this? No, that's too that's too poppy. No, it can't be poppy like that. It's got to be like fucking I don't know, like it's got to be heavy and and kicking. I'm telling you, bro. We can I think we could we could really do it. Like it's got to be good or it's just going to be a really sick theme. I don't care what whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? It's just got to be good and catchy and big. And it's going to make her presence explode. You know? It's got to be like... No, that's like a metal version. No, that's stupid. I don't like that at all. It's got to be... It's just got to be big, man. I'm telling you, bro. It's got to be big. And it's got to slap. And 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 what I was told, I was told by somebody, somebody that I trust, I think 88% accuracy on this person that told me this, that they are, she is debuting in a moment, in a big time moment. It's not going to be NXT. It's not going to be on some small thing. She's not going to work her way in. She's not going to go to NXT. Boom. She is coming in to be, boom. Like she's, she's here. Like. Garen, I, I am 100% on that. If that doesn't happen, I will be blown away. If that doesn't happen. Evo General! Uh, Let's go! Nine bucks for a fuck. Someone donated nine. I'm getting hard. I got nine inches inside of your wife. Nine bucks. I'm shooting my seam into the ceiling. I'm coming and my balls have to Yeah. Lol, that fight was kind of weak, but thanks to LMFAU. Thank you, Evo General. It was kind of weak, man. It wasn't the best thing ever. It was probably it was better looking than the Patriots one, but a Patriots fan died. So I don't know. You can't really top, you know, I mean, nobody got hurt there, but they couldn't punch Evo General, but at least it was a fight. Well, this could be it. What's this? Oh, this could be it, bro. What's this? Oh shit! What's this? Oh shit! Oh shit! It could be that. It could be this. It could be this. Guys, it could be this. It could be this. Physique 
with the power and with the attitude of Jade. And on Monday Night Raw, every single woman on the roster has been put on notice. And I don't know if anybody can defeat this woman. Now it's a little. Now you know what? Now it's a little too. It, and it's too jazz. It's too like. It's too globe trotters. It's not heavy enough. It's, bum, bum, bee, bee, bum, bum. it's too like. Ooh, I don't like that. No, no, no. That's not it. That's not it. That's it's close. We're getting there. It's just not. No, it's not quite there. It's gotta be. It's just gotta be a little harder, a little heavier than that, bro. I feel it, but it ain't heavy. And it's like a little heavier. It's close. We're so close. I just like, I don't know. That's too, it's maybe it's too silly. Maybe it isn't the right theme for her, but it's close. You know, it's just, it's, it, it, I will say it does have that prancy. It's just a little too prancy. It's more like it's it's maybe it's not right, but but we got to get something. We got to get something that's like yes, like that's her. You know what I mean? Um, like it's almost it's almost cinema like for her. You know, it's almost like cinema hip hop. I feel like for her. I don't know. Let's see. We could find something. I'm gonna get copyright strike, but I love doing this. Too fast. It's not like profound enough. You know what I mean? It's got to be more profound for her. I feel like. This is what we do, man. We look for music that fits these people. That's too slow. That's again, I think it's too fast again. We're working on it here. It sounds like every other generic thing. This is really close. This is very close to what I would do with her. It's got to be a whole presentation with her. That's why I get so into this. It means a lot to me. That the like if because I I feel like every wrestler to a certain extent, especially a superstar or somebody that I'm gonna build as a superstar, it's like they should feel important and that big. You know, I mean, she could even have like a metal song, really. But like, oh God, it's got to be big. It's just got to be big. Like, it's got to be, like, this is kind of like her music was in AEW, isn't it? Isn't this kind of like it? What does her music in AEW sound like? Yeah, it's like... So I didn't like her mu what I didn't like about her music in AEW was the there was too much um guitar and it was too like off key that like that was too much bro it kind of was weird for her it was close but it like wasn't fully hitting You know, so it's like it's close in AEW, but it's not quite there. But like something more like energetic, like this. That's Jade Cargill.
Dude, this is a little too slow. Oh my goodness, look at the physique on her! Oh my God! What an unbelievable specimen. And the fact that she's on Monday Night Raw is gonna set a new tone here in WWE. See, it's too slow. I can tell, I just, no, that's not it. No, throw it away, Joe, throw it away. It doesn't work, it's not good enough. I would spend all week on this. If I was in the, if I was in WWE working on this stuff, it would be all week until we found the right thing. And we knew what the attitude was, bro, she can be good. That's pretty good though. That was pretty decent, but it could be, it's gotta be better. It's gotta be better. What's a Cardi B song? Maybe she could take a Cardi B song. But maybe she could take a rock song, dude. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she could take like, some Jimi Hendrix, like Hulk Hogan. You know? It's like, it's got to be good, though. You know, we don't really... I'm not going to spend any more time looking for this because I'll do it off air and I'll find something. But it's like, you know... What the fuck, bro? Dude, I'm scrolling through videos trying to find Jade Cargill's theme here, what to do. And... If your acne looks like this pops up, and it's a girl with her armpit up and a giant nasty pimple thing under her arm, ugh, bro, I, th I feel like you have like a lymph node cancer if you have that under your arm. Jesus Christ! What the bleh, bleh. Like, Are you trying to kill me, YouTube? With this, what the fuck am I getting recommended this for? Imagine if The Weeknd could do her song. Could we get The Weeknd to do Jade's uh, theme? You know? How, because aren't they, like, wicked cool with the WWE? Like, The Weeknd is, like, all about WWE, right? Like, always. They're always doing a theme for WWE. The Weeknd. Like, it's always The Weeknd. Right? So, could we get The weekend to do Jade Cargill's theme? That'd be pretty good, right? Like, who... I mean, I wouldn't argue against that, I don't think, if it was right. Where's, um... Where's the... Where's the weekend song, um... Um, where's the weekend? Where's... Uh, <clears throat> what's the one I'm thinking of? Let's see. Um, oh, it's going back years. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe like, uh, maybe in the night. Could she? Could they do in the night with Jade Cargill? We're working on this. Then we got we get so much stuff we got to get to after this. But just really one more thing. Let's see how how far off are we here? This might be it, bro. This might be it. I might have figured it out. Is it this? Is this it? This song? About to come down the aisle. The sexiest woman alive. Jade. Wow! Look at the, look at Jade. Shut your mouth, Joe. Look at how beautiful she is. She's coming down to the ring. Be quiet and watch the entrance. Okay. I'm just saying she's in great shape. Here comes Jade Cargill tonight. And what? Look at that! She just ripped up a fan's poster in the what a what a what a wretched person to do that. Joe, you you can't say that about him. If you say that again, I'm gonna pop you in the mouth, Joe. 
Well, the fact of the matter is, Jade Cargill, one of the most unbelievable specimens in WWE today. And she's putting the belt on the line now. Oh, this is it. Oh, you got to get it. It's in the night. It's the song. It's Gaga. Sorry. But they're for the weekend is friends with the WWE. So give Jade Cargill a fucking weekend song. Make it a thing. Maybe even remake it so it's a little heavier or something. But it's, it's you know. I think we're on to something. I think we're on to something. Okay. I'm sorry. Evo General, thank you for that $9 earlier. If you want to donate and you want um, Tuesday Night Rage to rage on... Super chats are open. I will read them. But right now, we don't have any, so I don't have any to read. Uh, or use the Streamlabs uh, donation link up at the top. Ooh. I love ministry, Jag to Panzer. We could definitely do... We could definitely do ministry. Ooh, Moki, those are good, too. I wish I wish Lemmy was alive. He would make Jade a theme song. Yeah, can you imagine that? Imagine Lemmy was alive. I I think her song could start like r right around here, like right here, right right here, like right here. Start like right here. It's the chorus. That's fire, bro. That's fire. I'm going to get copyright. I ain't going to make a dime on this video now, but I'll tell you what, the weekend will. Uh, but yeah, man, use that. Maybe maybe somebody's covered that that it's heavier, because it's really close. If it just had like a, like um, I don't know. Let's see. That's what we gotta do. Find a cover of it. Watch this entrance by one of the most electrifying women in world wrestling entertainment. The champion, Jade Cargill. And look at the fireworks for Jade. She's an absolute specimen, Joe. Well. She's beautiful. She's dangerous. She's the woman's world heavyweight champion. And tonight, she needs business. And she's got that look of attitude on her face. Of course, it's called comp. Look at that, she's, look at that, she just ripped up a fence. Insulting photo. Or picture, stupid sign, whatever it was. Well, that's despicable, honestly, but. She, she does have a right to gloat. She's confident. And look at the look at the size of those muscles. Yeah. Absolutely incredible prowess she has. And then look at her opponent. Looks like a sack of lard. Okay, that's not okay to say that. That's not Well, it's true, Joe. Look at the shape that Jade is in. And look at the ring announcer. Look at him trying not to look at her because he'd faint if he did. Well, Jade Cargill is one of the most dangerous women she is the most dangerous woman she's the champion joe i'd like to see you try to take that from her she'd knock you out that's what they did 
So first I made fun of it. First I made fun of Vince McMahon two or three years ago. I sat here and I said, how in the world and in the name of Christ did Vince McMahon let Jade Cargill go? How in the world did Vince McMahon not get a hold of Jade Cargill, wax his carrot, salivate, send her to Triple H's office, and just lost over this specimen that is Jade Cargill when she was in the NXT tryouts three years ago? How did they not pursue her? with erections and I don't mean in a weird way in a creepy molesting way I mean in a way that like they could smell the money and the fucking star power off of Jade and they let her go to AEW and she did go to AEW and now AEW let her go what bro Every, every time every time you try to convince Vince McMahon not to hire Jade Cargill, Vince McMahon would just say, but, you know, but look at her. Yeah, I know, Vince, but, uh, you know, here's the thing. She's, uh, you know, she doesn't have really the mic skills down yet. You know, she's very green in the ring. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be like a project. I don't know, you know, if she's really into it, I think we should just walk on her, you know. Yeah, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Triple H, here's the thing. Look at her. Look at her pecs. Look at her abs. And by God, I want to see what her, what her, what her, what she looks like in her. All right, all right, Vince, that's enough. Vince, stop, stop it right there. Here's the thing. I think she's she's too green, Vince. We're just gonna let her go, man. She'll she'll get better. She'll come back someday if she's serious. And we'll train her at that point, but right now we're gonna let her release her, and I I, I can't say yes to it. You know, I, I can't do it. You do what you gotta do, Vince. It's your company, but I I can't do it right now, Vince. Yeah, but but here's the thing. Look at her. Her breasts. Like that. I like that's the like I can't. And then eventually Triple H just goes, "All right, fine, Vince. You wanna you want me to sign her?" Then we'll sign her, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I thing is, I don't see it. I see. I mean, obviously, I see the physique. She reminds me of Joni. She really does. But um, I just think it's going to be a lot more work, you know, than she's at the level, you know, we were when we were trained by Killer Kowalski before that, and now she's coming in. It's going to be years, Vince. And who knows? She gets pregnant and, you know, whatever. I, I, I just don't know. I, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll sign her, I guess, Vince, if you want to. Yeah, I mean, I, I do because, God damn it, Paul, look at her. Like, that's literally what would happen, I feel like, at the meeting. In the night, she keeps on creaming. Oh, my God, my thing explodes in the night. Oh, my God, bro. Camera's, camera's trying to run away on me, guys. Do we get to everything tonight? What did I get to? Tyreek Hill is a bitch. We talked about him. He beats his pregnant wife. Um, we talked about Randy Orton was seen earlier today, but we didn't really get into that, so we could get into some of that. There's a few other things to get into. Um, Evo General, I did get your dono. Thank you very much, Evo, for the donation, man. Why is it always Hispanic viewers? I don't know what's up with the with a lot of the white viewers and everybody else. But let me tell you something, bro. People with a with a with a Hispanic viewers are like sixty percent of the donators on my show. I don't know what's I don't know why, man, that we that like 
we just touch a chord, bro. Even my wife, you know what I mean? Like like D Moon, Guz, like they play games with my wife. They get along with me. They were always big supporters. And so many other people I could name a million names. I don't know what's up with it, bro, but it's like they are like that. I don't know what it is, but that community of people, that background are hugely supportive. I don't know what's up with that. Like some of the most generous and supportive people. And, I, and I've been told by a lot of people that, that donate that they like it's like like the comedy it's the it's the it's the jokes and stuff like they relate to that a lot of other people won't make the weird fucking jokes I'll make or whatever and that's like we all get that I don't know but it's very interesting to me bro uh Evo Evo I never really looked at Evo Evo I never really looked to see what your name was but I see it now on Twitter so I'm like I don't know what's up with you guys but you guys fucking bring it Tell you what, on Cinco de Mayo, bro, I'm going to shove tequila up my ass and jerk off live on cam. <laughs> the ghost from the coast. Yes, I know. I'm calling you Latinx, bro. Latinx or whatever the fuck. The baby in New York City that died of fentanyl. I'm not surprised, man. There's fentanyl everywhere. Dude, people should be really concerned about the fentanyl stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, dude, the fentanyl shit is out of control. Like, it, it really is fucking off the chart, dude. The fentanyl shit is nuts. Um, it's starting to become out of control. It, it's almost it, it's it's gonna it's gonna start reminding me a little bit of. I mean, it, it, honestly, at this point, it's literally a toxic, like a biohazard chemical. It's like if somebody released sarin gas around in areas. Or, like, dude, it's, like, the same type of thing. It's, like, someone's releasing anthrax all over people. It, when you get a little fentanyl on certain things, like, that kills people. It kills people who just come into contact with it by accident and stuff like that. Dude, it's fucking crazy. And the fact that our country and people aren't doing more about it is crazy. They're not doing enough about fentanyl being fucking all over the place, being stuffed into food in random places. Like, you're hearing about accidental deaths from fentanyl every second now, every day. Like, oh, I ate some butter and I died of fentanyl. Uh, oh, I ate some of this and I died of fentanyl. I was playing on the playground and I touched something and died of fentanyl. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, dude, this isn't like, and it's not like, oh, I, I, I bought cocaine from a, a random person and I, and, I sm and I took it and I died from fentanyl. That's bad, too, and that does happen, and that's made drugs super unsafe. Like, it's made drugs unsafe. It's made marijuana unsafe. You either need to grow your own or you need to buy it from the government. Otherwise, you have to buy it from a super trusted person or you could fucking end up dying of fentanyl. So they've made drugs terrifying to really want to get. So you have to, you have to be a fucked up psycho to be doing drugs off the streets because you could die from fentanyl. But that's not as scary. A drug addicted person dying of fentanyl. Yeah, that's not cool and that's not right. But it's like, okay, sort of expected, I guess, but not really. But, like, dude, what you don't expect is a fucking person at the playground dying of it because somebody was doing it there earlier or whatever. I mean, it's not even like a needle going into you by accident. Oh, I was, in the, I was on the beach. I stepped on a needle. Now I've got AIDS. Or I stepped on a needle. You know, it's not even that. It's worse than that. It's I fucking was going down the slide or I was at the picnic table at the park or I was eating food that was from the supermarket and I died fentanyl. Like, that's where now we're crossing a major line. Like, it's already a major line to have needles in parks. That's never been good. But I'm saying this is another level. This is like you're murdering people all over the place by reckless stupid. So, yeah, no, there's some crazy shit, dude. No doubt about it. Sipping on 44s would be sick, always, Nerdy says. It's how about how about birthday. Slipknot? You can make it Slipknot. So you became a... A member. <laughs> Chase Weatherwalks, 22 months as a member. Thank you, Chase. I know I'm a bit late, but I don't want Jade coming in as Cody's side piece since Brandy doesn't work. No, I I, I don't think that would happen. I, I think if anything, they would they might get into their little feud they had and redo that because they had some good 
I loved that chemistry with, with Cody's wife and her. I thought that was great. Jade and Brandy, Beef, like, it was... I loved that when she came out and she was like... She cut that promo on Jade. I thought that was great. I loved this. The hell told you tonight was open mic night, bitch! Like, dude, Brandy brought more power and passion into this rant on Jade than, than, than so many other people bring to, at all anymore, I feel like. I loved this promo by Brandy. I really, really loved it. I love Brandy. I don't care what anybody says. I like her. Who the hell told you tonight was open mic night, bitch? <laughs> Your dizzy ass up here looking real confused, so let me spell this out for you. You up in my house. Smacking your gums at my man, and now you my problem. I'ma make this real easy for you. Don't you ever, ever talk to him like that again. Don't you even look at him. And you know what else you can do? You can take your ratchet, trifling ass right up off my stage and do not come back unless Super I send chat, for Paul. you. Unless I send for you, bro. I have been a member for two years now. And all I got was this lousy, ugly badge. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Love you, Joe. Keep on keeping on, dude. Jennifer Muppet Baby coming in with the Canadian Ocho dollars. Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer, thank you so much for um, the support, Jennifer. You have been a member for a long time. Thank you, Jennifer. I love Jennifer Muppet Baby. And she's always on the Discord. Hanging out. She sent us great pictures when she went to WWE recently. And uh yeah. I love I love I love me some Jennifer Muppet Baby. And I love her cabin. I love the place. I really do. That's gonna be a sick Christmas at your place. I love it. Thank you, Jennifer. But yes, I love Brandy's promo. Version of monetize, oh shit! Monetize that. I'm kinda fat. Monetize that. Oh my monetize god! That. It's Leah's favorite donation. I'm kind of fat. Monetize that. Buy me a mess. Buy me a mess. Buy me a mess. Do you have 150 bucks? Buy me a mess. Oh my God. Buy me a mess. Buy me a mess. I can ask. I can ask. Buy me a mess. Come call me MC, and I'm gonna buy you a mess. Oh my God. Buy me a mess. 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 Some pyroclastic flow. I don't like blacks. Pyroclastic flow. I don't like blacks. Ask me that, ask me this, monetize that, monetize that. Can I get a mask? Come call me and see, I'm fat, I'm fat. Can I get a mask? Can I get a mask? Can I get a mask? I want a mask. Can I ask? Can I get a mask? Here's to one of my favorite donos, Lowell. Hope these wow. signings are going to do well on WWE. Cody is slipping and Jade, who knows? But these won't be the last. Holy shit! Cody is slipping and Jade, who knows? But these won't be the last. He's one of my favorite donos. I hope these AEW signings are going to do well in WWE. I really think they are, man. WWE is stacking up their roster huge now, Ghost. Like, I, I mean, really, this is WWE. This is the the swing back from WWE. AEW was, was, was kicking ass and destroying WWE for like a little while, for like a, two years or so. They were doing really well. They weren't destroying anybody, but I mean, they were like... They were a legit awesome fucking alternative to WWE for a lot of us. But right now, dude, WWE is swinging back big time, and it started with Cody Rhodes. It started with Cody Rhodes, and he couldn't get along with the Bucks and all those guys, and he was out. And now CM Punk's been run off. I mean, bro, Jade's guy. I mean, this is like, dude, something's changing here. The Ghost from the Coast! One hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. You talk about supporting the show. What the hell would we do without Ghost from the Coast? My God, bro, Ghost dropping one hundred and fifty dollars. Do we have the clip of Tommy from that wanting to buy a mask? Basically, one of my biggest donators, D Welsh, wanted um was donating to the show as always. And what happened was um, Tommy went to him behind the scenes and he begged him or he asked him 
for a hundred and fifty dollars. And we were like, damn, Tommy, that's fucked up, dude. Like, this guy just donates to the show. D Moon donated to the show randomly, like the ghost does. And Tommy went behind the scenes and texted, DM'd D Moon to be like, hey, man, do you think I could have a borrow? Like, do you think you could send me $150? And we were like, damn, that's fucking crazy. Dude, you went to one of my donators, like, as just, and just to ask him for money, like, behind the scenes? That's so fucking weird, dude. Why did you do that? What was it for? And he's like, well, it was for a mask I wanted to buy. <laughs> it wasn't for, like, my electric bill or, like, something bad went on or, like, whatever. It was, I wanted a fucking, <laughs> I wanted a mask. <laughs> dude oh my god dude some of the stuff that that he used to do i mean was really fucking funny i don't think i have it clipped i mean i know that it exists somewhere and i know the clip is from an episode that that, that exists i just don't know where This isn't it. This is him freaking out like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great. Hopefully this isn't before he says anything funny. He didn't say fun me. He said he meant it in a nice way, though. Event of the century besides VetCon. All right. Well, yeah, you didn't seem autistic to me. That's why no, I was just asking. Not really. I mean, I wow. Don't, I don't thanks for spitting my face, man. That's that's really like, do I ask to see <laughs> your, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're from New York and uh, can I see your... You know, like, you know, the, license. What, what makes you, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, he's off. You, you now. apparently, I guess, you know, what makes you like a WAP or something like that? I, I mean, no, 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 no I'm, I'm but, you know, I'm like, <laughs> you, he thought yeah. Ricky thinks he's saying he's autistic <laughs> to get fucking money. This is one of oh my, my favorite. God, Richie, you dickhead, dude. What the fuck? Make enough money. Oh, this is, one of my, honestly, what? this is one of my favorite moments that is quite frankly forgotten about, and it's really funny. What is Playlist Live? Richie doesn't believe. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking. This is they way. really Playlist don't believe Live it. They're is one of the largest stars. YouTube conventions that's held in Florida. I think they meant it in a nice way, though. I think they were like, whoa, like this, you don't seem like you're really <laughs> really at all, dude. Or like there's something going on with you. They, they just, you just seem like they're. You know, they're, they're thinking of, like, they have no... I don't think they have any idea what autism is. No, they they really must not. But <laughs> All sorts of big celebrities go to it. Jesus. Big celebrity YouTubers. Biggest event of the century besides VetCon. All right. Well, yeah, you didn't seem autistic to me. That's why no, I was just asking. Not really. I mean... I wow, don't, I don't thanks for spitting my face, man. That's that's really... Like, do I ask to see <laughs> your... Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're from New York, and uh, can I see your... You know, like, you know, the, license. What, what makes you, uh, uh you know, uh, like, he's off. You, you now. apparently, I guess, you know, what makes you like a WAP or something like that? I, I mean, no, 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 no I'm, I'm, but you know, I'm, like, I'm, I'm no offense to Italian people, but he's just being an asshole here. He's not Italian. Me, so I was just like, you know, I'm no, firing no, I back. Think, I think you took that the wrong way. Well, you, 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 can you turn the camera back? He meant it as a compliment. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know, um, Tommy. I think you're not reading me right. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you're. Uh, uh, He's not right. He's not Sorry, I apologize. I mean, I I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. <laughs> my, my apologies. <laughs> on air, and then disgrace me like that and say. There you go. That I thought you were autistic when I first talked to you. No, I wasn't gonna. I I, I didn't think that. Not for nothing. It's a well, compliment. No, you're gonna come on here on air and then disgrace me like that and say, <laughs> "Oh, you don't look autistic. What am I supposed to show you?" That wouldn't be oh. the f that wouldn't be the first time some point. Richie's dishonored somebody's family. Yeah, listen, if I if I insulted you, it's probably because I you kind of did. A little I, bit. It made me want to leave, dude. But I'm gonna stay here a little bit and see how far this goes. And if you keep pissing me off, I'm just gonna jump <laughs> off on you. <laughs> wow, Tommy. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't, I don't have, the, I can't find, I have the mask clip somewhere, the mask clip, but this, this, I just happened to find this, and that was, that was a delicious forgotten about clip, I feel like. I mean, it is quite delicious, to be honest. Um, <laughs> when he calls him a wop, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, bro. That.
Oh, I get it, though. Maybe I have it clipped somewhere else, though. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. I I, I thought I had it. I know I have a clip. I have it somewhere. It's just to look for it now. You know, it's hard to find it now. But I know it's... I know it's somewhere. The buy me a mask thing. I know. I know it's somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. I have. I told him that I had my dog had surgery. That's weird. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I thought I had it. I have it somewhere. I just don't know where. And I'm not going to waste any more time here uh, looking for it because that would be... Nobody wants to see me sitting here going, oh, wait, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not queued up. So we'll find the clip. It's really funny, though. I have it somewhere. It's funny. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and get Ghost up here because he dropped $150. The Ghost from the Coast. And I hope uh, if Sith Negan is listening, man, I hope you had a great birthday, Sith Negan. And thank you to Sith Negan for dropping a $500 bomb the other night. And everybody who dropped bombs, it was huge and very much appreciated. And the Ghost from the Coast making it another show where he's dropping big ones. Um, Piper Niven versus Nia Jax. Dream match soon. Is that really a dream match? Is that really a dream match? Would you say that that's a dream match? I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's a little bit of a dream match. I, I get. Did Leah message me? Did she go to bed? Let me. I'm gonna send Leah a message, cause I love her. I love you in the morning. I love you all the time. I love you every time I see you while you're sleeping. I'm rubbing your thigh. <laughs> I'm going to send that. I don't even know what I just did, but I'm going to. I love you in the morning. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what the fuck? All the time. I love you every time I see you. While you're sleeping, I'm rubbing your thigh. <laughs> Dude, Leah's going to get that and be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, Yo, Ghost, thank you again, my friend. <laughs> Colonel Stutters. <laughs> What's up, ma'am? Uh, I have the timestamp me effing over Tommy. Oh, so, oh, what is it, uh, uh, bleh, uh, D. Welsh? Let me know what it is, man. Joe versus Ryback at the local VFW Hall. That's my dream match, says Big G. Yeah, that would be. My, I'd I'd do it. And listen, yeah, could Yo Moss Blaze? How you doing, man? Could yeah, could Tommy? I mean, could Ryback like try to like be like, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna hurt this guy in the ring for real. Like, not take care of me and go off in the business for himself, you know what I mean? And just beat the shit out of me in the ring or like do shit to me in the ring that could hurt me really badly. Yeah. I guess Ryback could do that. If me and him were to agree to a match, by the way, um, Leah, Leah texted me back and said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I love you. <laughs> Leah texts me, what's wrong with you? A lot. <clears throat> and then she said, love yo yoy, I'm going to bed. Sending out an SOS. 
King of Hueco Mundo. Shout out to Jake DeMarco in that clip. Yeah, he's good. Um, Yeah, it was a green mask. I, I don't remember the episode, but somebody could tell me and let me know. Becky Lynch went to the Keith Lee School of Promos, says Costas Design Studio. Wow. Yeah. You might be right. Let me go to the Discord. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Yeah, keep yeah. on doing it. Yo, what up? What up, Naya homie? versus Piper sure. is a wet dream match. No, I never. Yeah. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. It's a. Scrap. I have an idea. For, I have an idea for Jade. Whoa, what's your idea, D Welsh? Jade to the her business. And that's a way to build up towards Jade versus Bianca for Jade trying to get close with uh, Montez Ford. Ooh. Hmm. She oh. crush him. Yeah, that could be all right. I I, w I really want Jade to be on her own doing her own thing, but I get what that could do. So that's not too bad Jade either. Jade to be on my mouth. What? I want Jade to be on my mouth. Yeah, me too, dude. I wanted to put her fucking whole thing over my head and fuck my head. <laughs> Like a vice grip. Yeah. Monetize this 303. Why did he get mad during this episode, uh, D. Wells? Yeah, remember I fucked him over? Did he get angry? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. This episode was two years ago. It took place on my other channel, Corrupted Nation. And uh, the timestamps are here. 247. All right, let's see. This wasn't that long ago, really, when you think about it. Bullfrog, you Case. bring... You got 10 seconds you before you're banned for life. All right. <laughs> when does it happen? Create a new championship belt for the community, so go ahead. Do what you got to do, brother. Okay. Yeah, fucking frogs and children all 247? Over. I don't even... Me and nothing's oh. happening. Uh, create a new belt for the community, so frogs go ahead, children. you fucking... I feel like D. Welsh is Pee Wee Herman and Bullfrog is fucking. <laughs> I don't see anything happening here. What the fuck are you talking about, Welsh? Fact, guy. Um, let's try the three thirty-five timestamp. Maybe that's something happens there. I think you get your timestamps wrong, Welsh. I don't see anything happening in these timestamps. Two fifty-seven twenty. Two fifty seven twenty. Yeah. Yeah, that's not this timestamp you said. Five me. minutes. With <laughs> five minutes left on the on the clock. Oh, it's oh, over. Oh no. Back. See you later. Back. See back. you later. Back. That's it. Here it is. Back. Does, he, does okay. he flip out? Tommy. Bullfrog. You stupid fuck. Did you there really think go. I would align myself with you? Oh, Guess shit. Guess what? What? Swerve. Oh, Points no. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, you gave the points to Casey's Raw. I remember this. Uh, and just like that, D. Welsh goes full face, like all of a sudden. That was great. I'm sorry, I called you a retard. <laughs> well, that was Rojas. Uh, but did t what, I didn't hear Tommy at all? He comes in right after, right after Drew. What? I didn't hear him. It's weird. I don't hear him at all. I remember that night though. That was crazy. Sergio Brown is alive. Oh, they found him? Now, uh, now did he kill his no. mother or did someone kill no. try, to, try to kill him and his mother and he got away? I sent, I sent you the Twitter thing. Uh, he is either in Mexico or Australia. What? And he said the police kidnapped him on Bob Marley's birthday 
and he sent a, a tweet with some Finding Nemo emojis. Okay, so he's, he's so up. he's schizophrenic. He's goofy. No, dude, that sound that sound. He, okay, so that sounds like yeah. schizophrenic. That sounds like schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. Like that's what that sounds like. Unless he was trying to, unless he's trying to like be insane on purpose to plead insanity, that sounds like schizophrenia. Like why? So, because his mother's dead, and so it's, yeah. we we think he killed her, and uh-huh. he's acting crazy like people are after him and shit like that. Dude, that sounds like schizophrenia, and I would know it runs in my family. So, Aaron Hernandez, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's CTE. It's schizophrenia. Um. And that schizophrenia runs, that can come out with, you know what I found out the other day, the research is getting more and more on this, by the way. If you have uh, family members and schizophrenia runs in your family and you have it in your gene pool, um, marijuana can bring it out. Like excessive marijuana smoking can bring it out, like trigger it in you. Um, And, you know, concussions can too, but I mean, just that. So I was wondering because you know I, I you know I smoke weed I I was smoking weed like every every couple months I would smoke weed no problems, and all of a sudden when I started um, smoking weed and doing edibles because the weed store was right down the street from my house, all of a sudden I started getting that crazy paranoia where I really thought like my mouth was sealing up and I was getting paranoid, but I and it, and it turned into a bad experience all of a sudden for me and it started making me get and it started giving me all this crazy anxiety and sadness and weirdness and so I was like you know what I, I just shouldn't do smoke weed this this ain't for me and with my birth mother having schizophrenia um I was like yeah maybe I won't maybe I won't do this anymore cuz it's it seems like it's becoming a very um well agreed upon thing that weed can really set it off. I mean, you can go off any time. You'd be sixty, and all of a sudden, be, you're schizophrenic. You become schizophrenic and can have any time. But like, bro, that that's this sounds like schizophrenia to to me with some kind of mania or something. I don't know, but I'm no doctor or anybody. I just Welcome that's what man. it sounds like. Who? Tell me again. Who's after him? What did you say? Who's coming for him? He said he was kidnapped by the uh, either the FBI or the Maywood, Illinois Police Department. It's like a rambling, just incoherent well, bunch of shit. Yeah, that's what you'd do uh, if you had about, on you. Uh, They came in with the 511 Haze, whatever the hell that means, and Bob Marley's death day and his his mom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sounds, like, mom, it sounds a lot like Chris Benoit. It sounds a lot like Chris Benoit. The dogs are by the pool, doesn't it? He says fake news a bunch. Okay, well that's that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Mom, honestly. What you think he killed? Yeah, it sounds like he killed his mom. Because I thought maybe, see, if I was him, you know, I or I don't know, like maybe he. I I thought maybe someone killed, tried to kill him and his mom, and they killed and he got away. But he he's just full on crazy and he killed his mom, which is what Mm -hmm. I thought. But it says they kidnapped me twice from home. I thought my mama was on vacation. Uh. And he also says he he tweeted or whatever posted from an account that which wasn't his Instagram account. He made a new one up, uh, abbreviated INT player with a passport. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't write if your mom was just killed and you were yeah. sane, you would be writing they fucking killed my mother. The FBI and the cops or somebody, you know, they killed my mom. Like. And, and like trying to expose what happened and I'm trying to get away cause they're going to kill me too. And even that you might be like 50, 50, like, I don't really believe that. It sounds like he killed her and he's just crazy, but like maybe that, that is kind of what you would say if someone did do that maybe, or the cops were trying to kill you. So like 50, 50, but the fact that he's just out there saying kind of crazy, weird shit and not, the specifics of like help something's going on the police department's crooked it's not specifically all targeted towards that there's all this weird other shit being said too so yeah to me it's 
to me, it's he's got schizophrenia or some kind of. I feel bad for the quarterback that's still missing. No one seems to give a damn about. Yeah, no, now no one cares about the other quarterback missing. There's all they officially did release him, and there, that's two Patriots players that have gone nuts apparently. So three, and, if you count. And there. Junior Seau, dude, what are they? What's in the locker room at Gillette Stadium? Like, what's going on here? Like the fucking Junior Seau. That's five dead Patriot. Yeah. Five like real homicides revolving around Patriots. What is happening? And Her- Aaron That's Hernandez really with what he did back in years ago. It's like, dude, what's something? What the fuck is going on over there? I mean, maybe they had to trade live and for Super Bowl victories. You're right. This is so, just part of the satanic. Well, no, yeah, you know what? I, I, that's what it is. This is the new sacrifices. They did all the other sacrifices. They won all the Super Bowls, and now they run out. So they had to kill a fan in the stands, right? And now there's two quarterbacks mm-hmm. they're sacrificing, so and the guy's mother. So, yeah, one death per trophy. Well, I think no. See, <laughs> I, I, you got to do it. I'm going to say it's more than that. I'm going to say the devil requires three deaths, right? Because how many have happened, right? The mom of the other guy, which maybe he was supposed yeah. to die, but she died instead. So the mom of the other guy, like like Kraft and all them, paid that quarterback to kill or that player from the Patriots formerly, uh, to kill his mom. That's one. Th- they paid the, the, <laughs> the they they paid the Dolphins guy to kill a Patriots fan in the stands. That's two. And now this other guy's missing. For all we know, he is dead. So that's three. It used to be just one needed to die, but now Devil needs three to get seven. Okay. Well, that means we're gonna win. That means we're gonna win three times the Super Bowls, Joe. So yeah, I mean, there's the upside. Shit. Yeah, you know what? We uh, gotta look up. Next. We gotta look up who got killed in 2000, 2001 that allowed Tom Brady to take over and start winning for the Patriots. David Patton's dead. Terry Glenn's dead. Right. Um, yeah, but that's new, right? Uh, that's I mean, like I need I need to know the names of the John two. John Stevens is dead. When, but when did the Patriots? Who, what Patriots players committed murder or died in two thousand two thousand one? That's what we got to find out because th- those are the first sacrifices to get the first Super Bowl, and we all know the Patriots, mm-hmm. the tuck rule and the weird shit that went down, bro. I'm telling you, you're right. There I mean, some yeah, devil. maybe they, like because you have to think about it before before the two thousands, the Patriots. I mean, they were just like they weren't anything really. You know, they right. were the same. They were looked at. They were looked at the same way that the fucking like Chargers were looked at. All right, and then they sacrificed people. They they found the fucking Necronomicon, and they were able to basically make the comeback of a century, bro. Wait a minute. And, wait and a second. What the hell? Wait a minute. Did you just make fun of Indian women? No, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, fuck. <laughs> Former Patriots cornerback identified as shooting suspect in murder su- suicide April 2021. His name was Philip Adams. Wow. 2021. Maybe it's just karma from what you did to the Falcons. Wait, and then we 2021, won the but that's 20 years after Brady was, was drafted to the Patriots, right? Yeah, well, the devil laid it. Mm. No, but I'm saying that it was like, okay, in 20 years, in 20 years, uh, the guy has to kill himself. Oh yeah, killer of demons. Well, at least we don't murder people in the stands and beat our pregnant wives. Killer of demons, you fucking pedophile fuck. And Ryan Mallet drowned. There's another one. All right, there's another one. I mean, for our, for as bad as Patriots fans can be, I mean, they're nowhere near as bad as fucking Eagles fans. Yeah. Well, but the the Eagles fans will just kill each other for no reason. They don't know there's a satanic way to unlock stuff and actually and actually perform a killing that could be used for a Super Bowl victory. They don't know that part. That's the <laughs> exactly. problem. Yeah, they just kill people randomly. They don't do the sacrifice and say the seance and do the right thing and actually they give that soul. They have a jail soul. in the stadium. What? They have a jail <laughs> in the stadium. They actually lock up fans during the game if they need to be. Actually, bro, listen, I'll tell you where the jail is. The bathroom in the in the Eagles Stadium has got to be the jail. It's Only probably full of shit. One. Well, that's what I think. You know. I think being forced to watch your team usually lose has to be the real jail. I do want to say, if you look out the, at the races in the crowd at Gillette Stadium, and then you look at the races in the uh, Eagles crowd, you might notice a reason why. Just mm. you know, I don't know. Not to be racist. I like I like when uh Bill when Bill Burr was like, I hope you all get fucking cancer and it'll be good because all your heads are shaved anyway. <laughs> <laughs> go, 
go work down at the fucking docks and unload some shit. <laughs> I want Bill Hicks to come back and kill Dennis Leary. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you the cure for cancer. And then he died. Oh, hey, Joe, I sent you the uh, video. I don't know if you remember Nick Chubb in college. He did the same thing, only worse. He tore uh, one extra ligament. Well, all right, uh, you need to right, you need to correct. think about yourself for a second. Think about when you just said, well, Joe, remember what he did in college, and then remember that I know nothing about college football. You could tell me uh -huh. that Nick Chubb was the greatest college football player of all time, and he raped a fucking dog in the stadium. I wouldn't know that. I didn't know. I thought you were like, oh, no, I'm a retarded. Like, like I have the, no idea. Like college movie. fan? No, Martin nothing. Song. Nothing about college. I know more about soccer than college football. Christ. I, I know that. Like I know the BC Eagles suck, and I saw Doug Flutie throw that Hail Mary all the time and that's about it that's what I know yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm sorry I, really like people oh, no, I feel fine. bad because people will sometimes they'll be like well remember when you know Bama was facing the mud dogs and the cougar cocksuckers were facing the the bull fuckers and I'm like I no I don't know what you're talking I about like that. I don't the know cougar cocksuckers are one of my favorite teams yeah the cracker yeah. were facing the salad tossers like I don't know anything about college football. I really don't. Wait, the Nick Chubb yeah. injury. Well, what he was trying to say, Joe. What What he was trying to say was when Nick Chubb played for Georgia, he tore the same knee, same leg, but he tore four ligaments, not three. Well, last night when and he it tore it, it cost me it. ten bucks. Fuck you, Nick Chubb. You fucking night. asshole, Nick Chubb. You fuckhead. <laughs> Sorry. No, I feel bad for him. That sucks, bro. He was. Gonna have a career year potentially, it seemed like, and I mean, he was uh, that. That sucks, bro. And at least he doesn't beat his does. wife like Tyreek Hill does. And one of his backups who scored a touchdown last night for Cleveland was traded from New England last year. Well, we traded. Oh, we, tra weird. we traded a bunch of good players away. Stupid. Yeah, and then we got and we got no real great offensive players which we've needed for years the, the, let me explain bill belichick's retardism i'm gonna get rid of jacoby myers the best playmaking wide receiver we have that has a connection with mac jones i'm gonna get rid of him so now our number one receiver is gone but our but born our number three receiver is still here so that's good and guess what douglas who's like a playmaking fucking awesome guy who maybe he'll make people feel better that oh well we lost jacoby myers but douglas can do it oh yeah he's gonna make a great play but then from behind gets stripped because he didn't really coddle the ball the right way made a mistake and now i'm gonna sit him for the rest of the game good idea bill yeah, i don't know why he does asshole. shit like that like he did that to malcolm butler and at a. Uh... 52 Super well, Bowl and that's 52 just the most obvious that's the most obvious one you can think of but he's done it to a whole shitload of other people who like made that's so that fucking pissed me off too like he didn't play him the whole game i'm like why aren't you playing the guy who literally made the fucking like interception of a lifetime a few super bowls go ago and is also like a really good defender like i don't understand why they fuck i don't know I don't sometimes know, bill belichick just like like you're right he just proves himself to be like a fucking retard but you know then other times he's like brilliant it reminds me i don't know if it's like it reminds me of like howard stern's weirdness nowadays it reminds me even you know some it reminds me of anybody who gets a big head who has a show like even you know like i've been accused of things before you know maybe you're mad at me i mute somebody or i get mad and you're like and people be like oh you know why don't it be entertaining to hear this fight but maybe I wasn't in the mood for it, and people criticize that. You know, it's it's kind of like that. You know, you get a you get you're in control of the shit, and you get a big enough head, and you're like, you know what? I don't want this bullshit out there. I don't care what play you made. You fucked up the way anyone else fucks up their bench. Well, you're bench too. But maybe you should put your ego aside and just fucking relax. And a lot of people are like this on podcasts and YouTube and radio and movie stars and coaches. And it's, but I mean, he would do this to anyone, right? So he is following his map of, but it's just like, come on, bro. And he couldn't answer the question, why'd you sit the guy the rest of the game? Was he benched? Oh, I don't know. I played everybody. You know, everybody, there's, you know, there wasn't enough time to play him. You know, it's like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what a weird. So you can't even say, like, yeah, he made a mistake and, uh, you know, we didn't find another spot for him after the mistake. And, he couldn't even say that. He just was acted like he didn't know what the fuck the reporter was talking about. Belichick is weird, bro. I love it's like he's good, but there's some things that's like 
I don't care, bro. That hurt the team to be like, you know, fuck them. Douglas is going to sit. Here's Belichick. This is what Belichick is. I'm going to fucking, uh, I'm going to just, uh, not play the best player in the whole game. No, uh, he's, yeah. it's just like, yeah, let's fuck up our whole team. Oh, really <laughs> look, a playmaker. Let's sit him down because he made a play and he fucked up. You know, it's just, yeah, I guess we can't bitch because we, we can bitch because you know what? We went from like one of the best teams in the NFL to like Brady leaves. And then now all of a sudden we're like, yeah, the greatest player we're back to, we're back to, we're back to being like the king of almost, you know, like, oh, we almost won that one. We were really close there until we lost. Right. It's, but, I mean, they still, they're making improvements, I guess. Yeah. The, it's, really. it, well, it, dude, again, it's, it's kind of like, it's just frustrating the Patriots to watch because, you know, they're doing the same thing to me as they did last year, which is like, hey, we're, we're, we're not that good. But also, look, we can be a little good. And then in the end, we'll string you along until the very end where we'll lose. That's what they did last year all season, it felt like. And they're already, you know, it's so there's already been two games. And I said this after the first game. I said, I'm fucking concerned about that. And here we are. It's already happened. <laughs> it's like, come yeah, on. Like, like, I can't even say that they're a bad team. They're just not. They're just not very good, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, it's it, like that weird middle ground that they're in, where it's like they can have great games, but you know, not really make it in the end. I feel like they're the best average team. That's yes, what I feel like. that's that's a perfect way to describe them. Like they are. It, I'm trying to think. There's like there's like seven or eight or nine. I'd say seven, eight or nine other teams in the NFL. They're better. Like there's like nine maybe ten even i don't know but the patriots are just boom right there and it's like they could they jesus could... only a patriots fan could call their team the top 10 when they're oh and two in the first two weeks of the well, season yeah jesus but they Christ. almost but again they almost beat the eagles they almost beat uh miami last week or yeah the guys who won the super bowl literally lost so it's like at this point nfl recently like the past few years has been kind of like Oh, like, like kind of wild. It feels like, like yeah. it almost has this unpredictability of like almost anything can happen. Ever since Brady left, as, ever since Brady left, it's like everybody kind of sucks. Or yeah, because yeah. they're like, you know what? At this point, who gives a fuck? I'm never going to be able to win seven. There really hasn't been any dynasty. I guess the Chiefs are the closest thing to a dynasty you could call. Take well, we do have Mahomes. We have Mahomes and the Chiefs. So yeah, he we should be okay. That. We should That's be okay what he with just Mahomes. Said, Jacob, damn it. We should be okay with Mahomes. He's the next Brady, blah blah. Let's see. I don't if, think he's the next Brady. Let's see if they've got the clip. <laughs> let's see. No, if... who, who's your team? Oh, here's the clip. I got the clip. Listen I, to this. The Patriots. Oh. Yeah, we got him. Listen to this. Offensive snap after that play. Saw him take another offensive snap after that play. Well, I mean, look, we had a lot of production on offense, so Parker had a good day. <laughs> Chica, he, had, Chica, he had a good day. Hunter had a good day. Juju, KP. So, yeah, you know, a lot of good players. Can't play everybody. Did you? Were you can't play everybody. I can't. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, they're, what are you, what are you they, they were tar. Do? They tar. I think they had targeted him three times that that day. That was the third one, I think, and he and he fumbled it. Now, he uh, Coach Belichick, are you are you passing out while you're speaking? Um, um, I do like how fucking ridiculous he sounds, but um, I always love Belichick press conferences. But I, yeah, I, now I didn't see. I gotta look at the fumble again. I didn't. I can't think of it now. But I feel like he had his arms tucked in like this. But the Jets and Patriots, bro, is gonna be a shit show. I think. I think uh, obviously this should be the first Patriots win against the Jets. Yes, Zach Wilson is. Joe. But I don't Joe. know, bro. They could put Jets could pull it off at home and beat the these teams the Jets and Pats suck right now. What what's that, uh RP? And Giants. And Giants too. We are trash. Well the, yeah, we the are, Giants have sucked for a while, but Cardinals. Yeah, but you know bro, what? Bro, like, bro, bro. You know this, what though? This... It's it's right. paranoia. Like Patriots, like I'm I always get paranoid when they get paired up with the Giants. Like even even years where the Giants have been just god awful for whatever reason, it's like always a struggle with them. So. Luke, if you don't mind me asking, how are you a Giants? I mean, a Patriots fan. You're from Jersey. Um, my dad was a Patriots fan. Uh, he's not. He wasn't from Boston, but he he's he started basically. I'm gonna just say he was a bandwagon fan, but I <laughs> I'm not because I was born a Patriots fan. He was an Eagles fan, and they sucked really bad. 
and then he became a Giants fan, and they sucked really bad. And then when Belich- and then when Belichick moved to the Patriots, um, that's when my dad started becoming a Patriots fan. So that does wow. make sense. That does make sense. But Joe, real quick, Joe, that mm. Nick Chubb injury has to be the worst fucking injury in football in the longest time. Yo, that's three devastating spots. I mean, he's gonna be. How do you rehab that? That's like tw- that's gonna be a full year of rehab. Yeah, he did it. It took over a year last time in college, and it was yeah. worse. Yeah, and so this is, dude. It's actually really heartbreaking, as because the guy was, like I said, was due to be a star this year, you know, and really be at the top of the fantasy and the records, and um, yeah, and all of a sudden now he's out probably fourteen months. I mean, dude, that I mean, he's gonna miss next season. Maybe, maybe that like was what the second game. That was the second game. Yeah, that's the second dude. I'm telling you, he will be. Yeah. He he might not be back until mid season next year, late mid season. If he's, I mean, that's crazy. That's bad. He may not Damn. come back ever to football. Like if he does come back, it's probably the worst. It's probably the worst leg injury since Alex Smith. To be honest. Oh, that was a bad one too. That was a I bad mean, one. That was oh. one. It is not. Nah, it is. Alex it was. was I did not one. know. I I did not know it was that bad. I knew he was injured, but I didn't even look to see what it was because I was so pissed off the other night uh, because not only him but a couple other people got injured as well. I had three people in my fantasy that got hurt, or, or pull, one guy got pulled by a coach or something. The other guy got hurt. I went, Are "You fucking serious?" And I was so pissed off. I just went to sleep or something. But yeah, to find that out, that sucks. That's just awful. Hey, look up Napoleon Kaufman injury. That's the worst leg injury of all time. Napoleon Kaufman. That's that doesn't even sound real. Wow. That that guy's parents should be killed. That guy should have killed his parents. He went to Navy. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I hope he's a, is it he? Monday night football too. Guess what's happening? Guess what's happening Sunday? What? You late? We're gonna we're gonna beat Buffalo. Oh, we're gonna beat Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Fuck yourself. Okay. I don't know, man. Buffalo's overrated to me. Still, they don't. Like, I'll tell you what. They don't look right. They don't. Only, they don't look only, right this season. We're only four and a half point underdogs. Arizona's tanking. Well, you did beat Denver barely the other night, and I did have Denver winning that game, and and they lost barely. So, yeah. Mister Pico, what do you mean Arizona's tanking? We we. We were as close in our games as the Patriots were in their games. I had Arizona winning too, and they barely lost. But you know, I had Arizona yeah. winning. So that your quarterback has no eyebrows. I think I went fifty-fifty on my picks. If I, I think like it, it was like fifty. Joe, have you seen I, the Cardinals albino quarterback or whatever yeah. he is? He's got alopecia. He's got no hair Ooh. anywhere. Really? Alabino, He's got no hair alopecia. anywhere. Do the Jaguars still have that long blonde-haired guy? Yeah. Dude, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Yes, dude, yeah. I'd go gay for him if I wasn't ready. He looks like that knight from like Shrek. <laughs> What's the knight from Shrek? The Prince Charming from Shrek. He looks like that. <laughs> That's his name, Prince Charming. Yeah, I suck him. Well, Tony Khan Trevor blows him Lawrence. in the. He blows him in the Two locker room. Names. Well, see, that's why that guy Coughlin. Would you say Napoleon Coughlin? Like, Coughlin. Coughlin. Was he a, was he black or white? Yeah, black. Yeah. So like. Passive. So like what? real. real Really, Mom and Dad, you want to call me? I'm fucking Napoleon Kaufman. I couldn't be Bobby Kaufman. Come on, what the fuck? What did they? I and mean, what was his nickname on the street too? You know, Nappy. He went to Navy. He played for the cough. Raiders. Yo, Nappy, little what's cough. up? No, little cough. Cough. Be that. Cough. little cough. Little cough. Little little Nappy. That's what they called him. Oh. Yo, little cough. What's going on, Mom? Yo, what what up, my, no way, no way. my little Nappy. How you doing? <laughs> Come Pick on, up. Joe. Pick up. That's oh, what it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? What's up, little nappy? I told you, man. Call me Napoleon. Ah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, nap nappy. <laughs> Fucking mom and dad. I'll kill mom and dad. He is so mad. Because they're unfortunate to be named that. I guess Napoleon is a pretty cool sounding name. It is actually kind of cool, but I always think of the short, white, fucking Polish idiot, even though he was actually a genius, but you know what I mean? And you just can't help but think of him, so you're like, Napoleon, you little midget. Yeah, well, my, fr- my friend's, uh, my mom's friend named her son um, 
Wolfgang, and I was just always thinking, like, damn, that's gonna be he's gonna be so badass when he grows up as a kid. Right. Like everybody's just gonna be like, dude, this guy's got the coolest name ever. No, so a it's lot a of Wolfgang. Wolf he's in a gang. No, a lot of Wolfgangs are like booger eaters, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, like, I mean, he was Callum. I said his name. I was definitely nerdy. Nerdy was a booger eater. Had to be. No, nerdy well, was. Well, this kid a was only two the last time I saw him. So yeah, I mean, he was a booger eater at that point. Oh wait, hey, Howard, how you doing? Yeah, I'm all nigga. <laughs> Drink on, honey. Oh, 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 oh. Those are real, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, Boy, man. let me tell you something. They, sure they really are natural. Oh yeah. These are all natural. Yeah. I take a seat. Oh man, oh. look at the size of these. Oh. oh. Drink on, honey. <laughs> These breasts. <laughs> There's nothing like Howard Stern in blackface telling everybody that you know they need to be better nowadays. Now he probably yeah. yeah now he probably cancel it. Oh yeah. I, 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 don't, know what doing. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing, Robin. Hey, Robin. Robin. Robin, suck my black see. cock, Robin. Robin, did you know I have a it black was dark cock? In there. I wish I could do Howard. That'd be great. I'd do a whole day. I'd yeah, be, I can't do him either. I'd literally be Howard Stern for a day, and I'd just be like, Robin, suck my balls, Robin. Look at my black dick. He's the king of the hell. He's the king of the hell. God damn it. He thinks he's Howard Stern. Boy, I'd love to suck a damn black dick. <laughs> I love that impression. Oh, my God. What about a Samoan dick? <laughs> them, boy, oh. them damn slimy Samoan bastards. Do you think that the Samoans have like their dicks like half tattooed, like they have their torsos? <laughs> and they got, like, like half of it's tribal. Yeah, like you're like, is this guy a Samoan guy or a death metal fan? I can't tell. Oh, wow. I mean, dude. I mean, after a while, don't all those fucking tribal tattoos just look the same? Yeah, yeah they you all know, just it's just lines. In. They all make me. They, I'll. I just, every one of them. I just think that's it's a gang, or they hate, or they're a Nazi. I don't know which one. They get a group discount. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, they look cool. They look cool. With they do look they're pretty like the cool. They're like the WWE's Illuminati, you know? Right. Yeah. Like they're in some like you don't know what any of this shit means. Like it could mean like that's the Bumba Maldua boo. And it's like oh, I mean yeah. it would prove to me that there's totally like that the Samoan dynasty are definitely just like basically running things backstage. I mean, we already know yeah. they kinda are, but you know what's I mean, crazy, if they, though? If, they, if The Rock yeah, and why Roman is, get to main why event. Is, <laughs> just, why is HBK so sheepish around it and Rock comes in like he owns everything? Maybe he really does own everything because he sacrificed. Dude, think of the things this The Rock must have killed and sacrificed to be the type of celebrity he is. Maui. Yeah. True, I mean, he got rid bro. of Maui. Maui, his whole home island. Yeah, that's what he is. No, that was I the price he had to say. pay because he bet, he bet he, it on a... He really bet that Black Adam was gonna like be this big ass movie. He's like, dude, it's gonna be the biggest superhero movie of all time, bro. Yeah. Oprah came calling. <laughs> Oprah wanted you know her crazy? money. No, dude. Yeah, right. Ever since that movie started bombing, now all of a sudden Maui's on fire and The Rock appears there, like, hey, look, look, send the donations. Oh, the big of The Rock. And you know what's uh, crazy? During his promo, during his promo, he actually threw up uh, three sixes. You guys didn't catch that. Oh, part. he did this, right? He did this. Yeah, that. Yeah, that he was like. Oh, that, that yeah, bro. Simple, yep. 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 Uh oh. You know that what that means? Is there, is there, is there something Fiona. about. TMD Blala, Food and Moon, Ayala. Okay, what the fuck? I mean, but yeah, guys, we I can't wait to see Rock and Roman in a match that will be a momentarily satisfying thing, and then they'll have probably a 25 to 30 minute, minute boring match. That will end in Roman going over and holding the title for another year. I mean, this is exactly what we need, you know. Screw, screw finding a conclusion to the story or finding some, you know, somebody who's an actually like built star. Why don't you just bring right. people back from the past and give them the spotlight? Because we need to give again, guys. We need, we really need to make Roman look strong. And what better way to do that than having? The Rock put him over. It's not as if literally every fucking legend has come back just to be put over or just to put over Roman. You know, it's not it's not like that happens. But, you know, we, The Rock really needs to come back and, and have this match with Roman. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why so many people are obsessed with seeing it. It's it's a flash in the pan thing. It's a quick, like, oh, wow, that was cool. And that's it. It's a moment. Yeah, after know, after WrestleMania, it's filler. I think what's crazy is that it has to happen. This is destiny. This is how the Roman Empire ends. Once Roman beats The Rock, because he will, this will be his final big win. And then finally, they can make the decision to even think of taking that title off of Roman. Because there is nobody else. 
Besides Solo, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And there's more fucking stalling. That's what exactly. Listen, that's what bro, the bloodline storyline feels like. It's just stalling. You know, the Jimmy stuff. You're like, oh, is he gonna come back to the bloodline, or maybe, maybe Jimmy's the one who's gonna join Judgment Day. It's just like I don't care. It, this is I all think, filler. I think that Jimmy move was a bad move, to be honest. It was a bad play. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think nobody cares for it. The whole splitting up the Usos. I, I honestly thought they would never do that to the Usos because how does that make it sense? And they're not single stars. They really aren't single stars. Jay Uso is nice, but he's there's something missing about Jay Uso. I don't know what it is, but I think it was is- stupid to I think it was stupid to have the turn like so quickly after this big storyline in the summer that was like about the Usos and Jay specifically standing up for himself and he's like, you know what? I'm leaving the bloodline because my brother has been treated badly and for too long I've been treated badly. And so the whole reason Jay left was because of Jimmy. And it's just like, now Jay, like again, Jay looked like an asshole coming out of SummerSlam because it's like you left your family for your brother, but then your brother turned your back, turned his back on you. So now you got nobody, and you're a loser, and you have no title. So yeah, the only think, thing I mean, missing from him is a DUI interlock device inside of his car. Mm-hmm. Who gives a shit about? Keep <laughs> on really? playing your video games. Yeah, this just has, what about this just has boy. Solo. This- they should have had Solo cause Jay to match, not Jimmy. I think that's where things got fucked up. That was a bad move. Solo should have been the one to spike Jay at SummerSlam, interrupt the whole match, and... So- I think they panicked a little when, when they, like... They did! They must have had, a, mo- will, they must they have had a moment where they... Sorry. No, they're just too will they, won't they with them. It's like, make one course or move or the other. Like, what are you doing? Back and forth? They, uh, whatever. Yeah, no, that's, the, that's right. the problem. Luke is right. Luke is right. That's the problem. Oh. Oh damn. my god. Oh shit. What the shit. fuck? What the fuck is going on? Yo, what, what happened? In the spot on oh, me. a bazooka. Team Welsh is here. Team Welsh. Oh, oh man. is dropping I want it in my oh, is oh, 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 jungle Jacob RP get the fuck off this call Oh no you disappear for weeks at a time and days at a time then wow. come back but Jesus you're cringe Wow Luke, you are safe Who tonight is that? That is D. Wells dropping a hundred dollars to boot Luke off. I mean RP off the call. I, I gotta tell you, RP's been good tonight. I think. I think he's been good tonight. I. I well, I, he's been a bad. You know what? He has been a bad boy in the past. That and, is true. Uh, but... I meant that as sexual and, and as I could. You know. Oh. So that's weird. But I get it. I get. It. Listen. Fuck D. Wells. Dropping a bomb. To, what a got, chaotic donation! Wow, RP. I was <laughs> I was gonna give RP the last word, and he just he took off right away. He's out. Well, what I was gonna say before is, um, because you know uh, RP was agreeing with me, so of course he appealed to my ego, and I appreciate that tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, wow. What I was saying was that I think that they um rushed this whole storyline when it came to like the Usos turning on Roman, you know, because I feel like they didn't have any ideas after that. Like, oh, right. well, fuck, we still got so much time till WrestleMania. Maybe we'll do a will they, won't they uh, heel turn with Jimmy. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> just feels, so, it just, again, feels like filler and, you know, they're, they have so many, these plans for WrestleMania, but then they forget, oh yeah, there's uh, there's, uh, what, October, November, December, January, February, March, you know, you got all these months yeah. before that. April. Well, April is when the is when it happens. Like early April is when WrestleMania happens. I know. I've just seen if you could go through all the months in order. You're doing good. I mean, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck. I think that's isn't that uh like not standard for someone like you're from the south, right? They don't really know how to, you know, read a calendar or spell. Don't February. read it all. Hey, I was yeah, thinking read about it all. Special. I was thinking about this scenario during a dump the other day. Say uh, Rock beats Roman and for the title, comes out on Raw the next night after Mania. Who's the guy whose last match in WWE 
he lost the title to The Rock, and then he left. He never got a rematch. Punk. Finn Balor. Uh, this is oh, my last CM match. Punk. Macho Man Randy Savage. No. Well, um, Punk, who's up as he left. Rock Punk at whatever the next one, fast lane or whatever is, the next pay-per-view. After that would be awesome, dude. Imagine that. They did Rock and Punk. Dean oh, I feel like that'd be cool, but again, the whole ending Roman's three-year reign for something like Roman that. goes on vacation would, after he no, loses. Yeah, I wouldn't. Face. No, I wouldn't. Uh, again, I think the three-year reign needs to end like perfectly it needs to end no no excuses no interference angles no, and it has to be at wrestlemania because you've yeah. built this title reign so much like you can't end it at fast lane or something you don't know you think like imagine the end of the title like great balls of fire do you think they're <laughs> saying up, saying roman loses at fast lane i was saying rock loses at fast are they gonna no do, no I, that's a, are they gonna do war games again at survivor series That'd be sick. Be because, but because it, it seems like they're setting up a big Survivor Series match with people. Like I feel like that could happen, and they're setting it up. Yeah, they've been setting it up since WrestleMania, a six man tag team match every fucking two weeks. But isn't, between the same people, isn't Survivor Series in Boston this year? Or was Maybe that? Maybe we'll la- go. Was it? Is it? Or was that last year? Brother, you would know. I don't actually. Know. No, I think it's in Chicago. Alexa, where's Survivor Series this year? All right. <laughs> Thanks. Shout out to Alexa. Alexa Bliss. Am I right? Am I right? I five. She people. just said she just told me that Survivor Series is taking place in November in 2020. What a fucking <laughs> stupid cunt. Yeah, Alexa is. <laughs> what Here, a I'll dumb look it up bitch, for you. Dude. I'll look I it up for you. Shout out back, dude. dude. Fuck Alexa. Well, Alexa can fuck herself. I hope you lose the baby. Yeah, Siri's better. Oh, that's a different person. Um, I'm sorry. Here, let me look it up now. Um, Chicago. It's in the state arena. Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Wow. So now, On the 25th. Now WWE is going back to the big Chicago, and AEW can't sell the place out, but WWE is going to go in and sell it out. Oh, dude, CM Punk has got to be coming back. If he's not suing AEW and caught up in some weird bullshit, don't you think, like, are you not bringing him back in Chicago for Survivor Series? Is this not, like... I feel like Punk is coming back because, you know, yeah. he doesn't necessarily need the money, but how much money did he really get out of his contract? Because he was only there for, like, a year or so, and then also there was a big part of time where he was suspended, you know? So it's like, how much money did he really get from AEW? If he comes back in a shocking manner where they don't announce it, like, you know, the week before, whatever. That means he's staying for a long time because he's coming in. He's going to shock the crowd. The crowd gets to resonate with it for weeks. If they announce that he's going to be there, they're just doing it to sell tickets, and he'll probably only be there for a short time, not a full-length feud. That's my guess. Yeah, so, Welsh, you just jinxed I, the no-hitter, Welsh. Oh, Welsh. I think Punk will... Sorry. Oh, you're good. I didn't want to interrupt you. You know, I don't want you yelling at me like you did at the uh, last monetize this. Um, Tampa's getting a new stadium, by the way. Right. Well, that's cool. 28, 2028. Yeah, so the bigger stadium for no one to come to. That's awesome. I think Punk I think Punk will return simply out of spite. You know, he'll just be like, fuck mm-hmm. it, I'm going to go to the other people. Like, for no, no other reason besides that. Oh, and money. He Definitely bars. money. Do you think his wife comes too, AJ Lee? She's got her own thing. See, no, because then he, because, you know, they can't have two AJs in WWE, you know, otherwise I might think uh, both of them are racist. AEW's <laughs> got like three cages and three pages. And... That's, that's AEW. We don't do that over here. All right? We're not that yeah. pissant company. What do they call it? Well, dude, Triple I recently said jerked to... off to AJ Lee. In, uh, you, you jerked ages. off to her? Seriously? Yeah, I know. It's it, it was like a throwback jerk off. You ever have any of those? Yeah, I find her cute. Yeah, I've done stuff like that before. I've jerked off mm-hmm. to her. <laughs> We're saying this like it's a surprise. Like yeah, I've I have jerked off to AJ <laughs> Lee before. Believe it or not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I don't know why. I used to be really attracted to Paige. I guess because I saw her in those in those uh, videos. That's like I'm not. 
anywhere near as attractive as I or attracted to her as I used to be. You know, when she was with the NXT people? Women's Title, I just think of it covered in jizz. I can't help it. I don't know. I guess it's because. I don't know, some of these wrestlers, when they're naked, they have this, like, weird, lumpy look. <laughs> like, their yeah. boobs. Like, the Charlotte's the same, where her it's boobs Charlotte. look, like, weird and bumpy. <laughs> All yeah, bruised like up man, and dude. banged up. Yeah. Would swallow. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, I would. I would, I would drink her piss. <laughs> Charlotte's? <laughs> Any woman's, Ooh. really. Yeah, at this point, Lou, <laughs> let's, let, yeah, let's be honest. You drink if it, if it meant if it meant that like maybe they would take pity on me and fuck me, then sure, why not? At this <laughs> yeah. point, I have I have no shame anymore. Mm. Three way with Andrade and her, bro. I got Halo soap. By uh, what the fuck? I got Halo soap. Isn't this shit amazing? I got fucking Halo, Halo Doctor Squash Halo soap. Damn, dude, that is sick as fuck. That is sick. Spartan scrub? Yeah, bro. Where yeah. did you find that? It smells good. Dr. Squatch is good. I forget. It, somebody No, somebody gave it to me now, and I can't remember. It might have been my mom or Aaliyah. Somebody got it, and like they gave it to me, and I was like, that's fucking cool. I'm never going to open this, but it smells amazing, and I want to open it. But it smells, that's what I'm saying. I want to order oh, some. Oh, God, it smells <laughs> good. It. Hey, yeah. do you guys think Punk beats beats AJ Lee? Because oh. she's the only person he can win in a fight with. Well, and he, he and he really better. hates. He really gets angry at pe- women, uh, violence on women, and all those other things. So usually you're doing that if you're that mad about it, right? Yeah, problem. usually people who are all like progressive and stuff like that are giant hypocrites that are just trying to, you know, exploit the situation to gain clout or virtue signal or make money off of some sort of corporation uh, that takes advantage of those types of groups. So, you know. Punk probably fits that mold better than anybody. We all know that he's a fake fucking, you know, wanna be nice guy. Like, oh, he's this really nice and chill down to earth guy, but then you find out more and more that he's just a prima donna fucking asshole. So I wouldn't be surprised. True. Probably rapes her too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, my was god! The other night, Christ. I'm getting raped the other night by Leah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, Joe's getting raped the entire night. And while he was doing that, and while he was doing that, me, Nerdy, and Garguts, and whatever, were all just <laughs> fighting with each other for no reason. <laughs> yeah. We were, all, we were all blasted. Nerdy's like, that's the reason she left. And I'm like, no, the reason why they left is because of, of you. And it turns out, oh, no, it's because they were no. fucking each other. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking each other, dude. Fucking assholes, dude. <laughs> Dude, hey, she was Joe, because of you, man. Cause you, you yeah. suck. <laughs> Joe's like the fucking. He's like the Sith making us fight with each other, dude. Yeah, Joe, is well, I gotta tell you guys. Uh, speaking of fighting with each other, real quick, I just want to say that JD did get knocked out the other day. So that was what that did. Uh, tantalize. When JD got knocked out, that did really uh, tantalize me. Uh, you go to the hospital on his Mustang. Yeah, and his. <laughs> Wait, spot. how did this happen? You're being for real? Well, I mean, it's a it's a HOG show, so come on. Oh. Look. I didn't know that. I thought I thought he actually did get knocked out. Damn. One can dream. Guys, this is a Tommy video. There he goes. There he goes. Boom. Not the a bad one of his cats know, getting revenge. Not a bad sell. I mean, I got to be honest. We were down in Florida, um, you know, and uh, not a bad sell. Not a bad sell. Um, that kid can work. Yeah, I don't think he can work. I, I it, it, well, it'd be good. To, imagine me and him at a match. Like it would be really like I think we could. I think you see, we, like from that, I kind of feel bad for him when I see him like crumble to the ground. You know, he just looks mm-hmm. like a sad old midget. You know? He's a yeah. small person. But then you I, find not, out who the real person he is. He's a small person. I will, you know, what I mean, like I was always, I was always, I felt, Crap, weird. I felt weird next to him all the time. I was like, I'm so much bigger than you. Gentle, you know. Yeah. Um. Did you feel like Aragorn, and you were kind of leading Gimli along during your journey at WrestleMania 30 or whatever? Which one it was? Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah, Masterson probably is guilty. 37. I think Masterson. Pre- people are pretty convinced he's guilty. Masterson mm-hmm, seems yeah. guilty, yeah. 
And he's he's already guilty, isn't he? Didn't the verdict already happen? He's guilty. Yeah, he's in jail. Yeah, Danny. Sure. No, yeah, Masterson's weird. He's a weird dude. When you look His into him, he's a little bit bizarre. He has a wife. His wife is the chick in the Sublime video. You know, what? Uh, wrong no. way. Well, nerdy, I think you're absolutely like sublime. Staring at her tits at the <laughs> Thanks, baby. She's in uh, that video? That's crazy. No, her. That's his wife. Um, yeah. He's you, Philip. She was in, uh, she's one of the the mamas and the papas, the daughter of the guy. She was in that movie with. Uh, oh, she looks rough, actually. You're well, referencing well, things from before Luke was even born. Well, I don't, I've, I feel I feel like I've heard that you know, before, but I don't think I've Can you imagine it. if you're like married to some dude for all this time and you're like living with him and then he goes to jail for the rest of his life and you're never going to like be with him anymore because he raped people years ago? Like, like you're like, what? My life's yeah, ruined too it. because of something he did 13 years ago that I didn't even know about? This is fucking crazy. It is crazy. And it's like, I just really feel bad for the That 70s Show fans because they'll never get a, a solid conclusion to the Jackie and Hyde relationship, you know? <laughs> he basically yeah. went out and tried to find Jackie. Like, that's what this looks like to me. Yeah, and he was looking for the same age, too. Yeah. Oh. He was like, hey, this one is, this one actually agrees to it. Yeah, Kutcher got her at 15. Why can't I? Yeah, he, she was 14 when she started that show. Yeah, bro. That was so weird, too, that they were doing that. Like, she was 14. Yeah, this is so That's fucking... Really no wonder why he thought it was... No wonder why he thought rape was okay. It's like, well, what? We were making out with 14-year-olds on my on yeah. my job, you know? <laughs> yeah, I saw... Remember I saw that band the... Winger? Their biggest hit was 17. She's only 17. She's definitely banging now. everybody. She's not allowed to say no if you're her parent. Oh, my Ugh. favorite song by them was I'll Make Her Squirt No Matter What. That's a great song. Yeah, uh, the ballad. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make her squirt even if it hurts. <laughs> I'll make her squirt even if it hurts. I'll put my fingers up. Her, I'll, was my I'll, nickname I'll put my child. finger up her skirt. <laughs> Maybe got to use a knife too. Yeah. Did you hear about you the, the like airplane? This. Wait, look at this. Some guy. Look at this. I don't know. Crazy. Listen to this. I ran my fingers up her dress. I'll make her squirt. No matter what I do. It's a hit song. What about a plane? Um, this plane, they the they found uh, some either a pilot or somebody that worked on the on the plane put a, a cell phone under the toilet seat, and a little girl found it. No, oh. it was being recorded. They were doing toilet shots on passengers. What the fuck? What are you talking? Novateen about? Novateen Dream wasn't on there. It was on the news. Like somebody was filming. Toilet picks on the airplane. Jesus, snapping so pictures. So they of... died on the crapper. Nobody died. Nobody died Somebody on the plane. The, 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 someone found a hidden thing. camera in the bathroom on the plane. That's all that happened. Yeah, in the toilet seat. They put a camera, a little tiny camera. Was it you, nerdy? You fucking creep. Shit off. bum. All right. <laughs> yeah. We need Joe versus the bear at WM Forty Steel Cage Match. WrestleMania Four. The bear returns in a inferno match with me. I'll have an inferno match with it if I had to. Dude, that bear would whoop your ass, Joe. Let's be real. I would love it if I was filming me fighting the bear and the neighbors were just looking at me outside, like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" And I just go. Through you could a... even sell it better and have Leah walk by and even give that look, like, "What the fuck is he doing?" I don't know. It looks to the neighbors. He's having another manic episode. Great. That's like that's... playing that squirting song in the background, like fighting the bear. Squirt on me. Squirt on me. Dude, that, I just saw a video of one uh, brown bear killing yeah. the fuck out of a black bear. 
you, do you see that video really? by chance, Trav? No, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. Either. That sounds horrific. It looked like it looked like if Casey is raw tried to fight. Um, what was the name of the former champion that passed away? What was his name? Oh, if he. Uh, no, 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 not his ex-wife. The guy that oh. won the belt but gave it up. I don't remember. Dude, fat dude. Oh, he always laid on his belly. I I hate to say this because he's fucking he's fucking dead. Oh, Bobby. But he was lazy. Bobby. Bobby. Yes, it looked like if Bobby and Casey's Raw were wrestling each other, these two bears, mm. and uh, much like life, Casey's Raw pulled out and won. Oh, but uh, the black bear did not. Well, we make know it. Scott don't like him. Keep on playing your video games, stinky <laughs> ass boy. So yes, boy. <laughs> you have any plans for tomorrow, uh, Joe, or just chilling? Yeah, my kids have a half day at school, so I'll probably do something with them. And so I'll... like, what what's going on? AIDS Awareness Day or something? I don't know. They have random days, half days. They're just always random, kind of. So like, it's one of those days. I'm like, oh well, I'm home, so that's a good day to be for them to. That's cool. Won't it's be able nine twenty. Won't be able to attack Leah, but you know. Yeah. That's, that's the funny. thing. Like, having kids, that's the hardest part, I bet. Trying to get your funk on with kids running around. I don't think Jeez. so, because Leah's usually more game at night, really late. So, it's kind of like, oh. it's not really a problem. It really, it's sucky, lock the door, you know? Dude, sucky sucky was the code word for me and my girlfriend anytime I wanted dome, but she didn't want to have sex. She'd always be like, what about sucky sucky? Ooh. I'd be like. <laughs> me love your mouth long time um this is like when in 40 year old virgin where he's like tits feel like a bag of sand you never okay so you just say will you suck my dick talia no we know what i just don't even she doesn't like it's only a i don't know like it's weird it's great it's like sometimes i could just be like you're gonna do this and it's like, and she just, it, and so I just go take, you know, you, here you go. Like, and, you know, and then it happens 50, 50, 50, 50, chance. It happens. If I say, take this, you know, do this 50, 50 chance. And, um, if, and then sometimes it's that it, it will be on, it will be, uh, and then like, okay. Like out of 10 times, five times. No. And then like, three of those times I go you do this and it happens and then two times <laughs> two times it's like a question like you want me to do that and then one time out of ten though it's like I'm doing that I'm you doing that yeah no she's saying to me I'm doing that oh. so it's rarer but oh. it's so it's like I get the variety of everything you know I get the I like once in a while I get to like just de sort of demand it and it happens but then, but not if she doesn't want it. So there's like, so it's it's like it's like mm. Diablo. It's like finding a legendary in Diablo or something. It's like okay, five out of ten chance, not gonna happen. So I'll try. But also sometimes it's offered, and so like it's very exciting because you don't know which door we're gonna go down. You know, there's three options, and it could be any one of them. It's not like all the time it happens or it never happens. I see. Yeah. So it's, so if I were like like dominant like that and said suck, you're gonna do it. I would get like maybe a maybe a one out of ten chance that that would work. So I always had to go soft and be like, "Hey, uh, throwing this idea out here, possible sucky sucky." And you will it never worked. get it. Like doing no, it that. did work, dude. Oh. I don't know why. I don't know why it did work. I'd say that would work about four out of ten times. Wow! Not I like Joe's time. idea. You master center. And just you I, know, make it. You just yeah. master send her. Yeah, you should just master send her. Make yeah, make her your bitch. Um, and then every every other time, like the other five out of ten times, I'll try something unique or like try to make out and just wouldn't work. But the sucky sucky, she started offering, hey, uh, instead of sex tonight, you want just like a sucky sucky? I'd be like, hell yeah, dude. And she was comfortable with saying that, but she wouldn't say blow job or suck your dick. Um, but I could see, I, I could see Leah being like, "Ew, sucky, sucky." What are you five years old? 
fucking gross. Yeah, pedophile. no. If I said sucky, sucky to her, so and she is sober, <laughs> she okay. would, she would, she. I don't know. She. It, there's a potential for a laugh. Like what? Like what the fuck? Not after that comment. Or there's a potential for just like actual like. We're not. Don't touch me now. Right. Because and then there's the like, way. can we fuck? Like. That no. works like one out of ten times, if any. But sexy time, similar to sucky sucky, sexy time would work four or five times out of ten. Mm, so that's... sexy time was a staple. Did you ever use that or use that? If I I might have said some cutesy thing like that a few times, trying to be like whatever, and then not never has that worked. That has never worked. <laughs> like it would. You'd be better off just starting something. You'd be you're better off just doing this, like starting it and being like, like let me take like let me take this off you, like whatever, and like and then because then she'll say like not right now, I got this or whatever, or she'll just be like, oh really, like you like, like I don't know, like and then you can go from there. But like to say like, hey sucky sucky or like hey maybe <laughs> like, that, that's fuck like no my dude. No way. Well, say it in your Drew McIntyre voice. The big sword. Yeah, so hey, there, it's like a that. Louis C.K. where you kind of just bring her in the room. You just start doing it. And if she walks out, she walks out. But if she stays, she's watching. Mm. You know, it's good to go. You just start it, right? I feel like it's it's bad news to, to beg or ask for that that way. It works a little more when you're younger. like. But I guess it worked for you, so fuck it. It worked, you know. But at the same time, maybe that was part of her... Dis- disgust Ultimately, it didn't work you. out because yeah, uh, right. she's gone. She's fucking dead. Yeah, no. she's fucking dead. No, I think you need to be more. I think you need to be more assertive in a in a good male way. I think that's what yeah. nerdy. Ba- what I'm getting out of you because you're a nice person. I like you a lot. You know, um, but Ooh, you, don't flatter me. I, really, I might I have love to you. Fuck you. Um, I mean, you got a house and shit. Like, I mean, you're pretty put together Fridge. there. But I just that think Fridge. you need to be. You're very and you're silly, so a girl likes a silly type of guy like you would, would like you. But I think that for a lot of girls, like you, really got to become a man. At some like be very kind of more masculine like to them. <laughs> Unless you find a Have girl that voice? likes, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like your voice doesn't help. But then you're like, hey, you know, you want to like uh, sucky sucky. Like other guys aren't gonna like p- picture a dude that a lot of girls like or that like has a pretty girl who's like a serious guy who's a lot of money business guy or anybody like that and then just imagine him saying sucky sucky like and it's like you can't like so now yeah, imagine that good. that's the alpha type of guy that these girls are attracted to and you're sitting there going you know sucky sucky like I think Fuck. I balance it well because I think that I'm a little goofy too and I'm weird and goofy and stuff like that but I'm like also. I feel like I'm also like proven alpha enough that like like whether it's killing bugs, killing spiders, taking charge of stuff, being able to like do certain math bills, making income, being be able to look, I bought this for you, I bought this, I I got us here, I did that. I was able to help the kid when he got hurt. I was able to do that. I've had all these proofs that I've done to show that I can like take over in charge of a situation so that even though my fucking retarded weirdness and kid like mentality about many things and how weird I am. It's like even though that's like a negative detractor, there's still that seriousness of me that it's like, okay, there's enough man there that I'm attracted a little bit. There's <laughs> enough of a man there. For me it's like, no, it's all too womanly. Let no, him go. I think you've got no, you've got a little bit you've almost there too, I think. It's just a little too a little too gay with you. A little yeah, a little too vaginal. Yeah, some would say a lot too gay. I think a lot of people would. But you're say a good. Like, but you're. Gay. But also, what? How old are you, nerdy? I'm a 31 year old loser. That's right. So like when I was, I'd say like when I was 28, 29, I started snapping into the more, like I'm. Um, let's go. Also, too, when you become a dad, like too, that you you become like you feel like this pack leader. You feel a little bit different. I feel like you morph into another zone when you become a dad. So when you become a dad, that's the thing. I fucked my wife while she was asleep one night. And then I said to her, I thought you were okay with this. And she said, why does my ass hurt? I'm sorry. Jesse, we, we had this pedophile call in and call his children. As of seven hours ago, 
News says that Danny Masterson's wife, Beja Phillips, filed for divorce and as of five hours ago she asked for custody of their kid. Wow. Oh, Danny. So, so it sounds like revenge has set in for her. Yeah. Or, or you know what, though? I got to be honest. Let's say she's actually angry with him and it's it's the reality setting in so she's done and she's probably broken and sad and who the fuck knows but let's say that didn't happen even if first of all if i did this leah would leave me and be like fuck this person but let's say i had a wife that was very dedicated to me no matter what i still would tell my wife to divorce like you need to distance yourself from me and the kids and you need to just get away and i'm the bad guy and Get them away from this. Fuck it. Fuck me. Why would she? Why would she need to claim like ownership over the kids? Like, what are they going to go to the prison yeah. on the weekends? Yeah. Visit their dads. And, stay with their dads at Rikers Island for the weekend. The hell? I don't know. I think it's just another like I just said like part to like sort of separate them from him. Like yeah. he's got no control over them at all. So in the future they can't be questioned. And like, could he be the dad? It's like. It, yeah, that guy's in jail. Fuck him. Like, he has nothing to do with my kids. You know, that sort of thing. He's, it's just separating to take to protect the kids. He's probably thinking, damn, I could have gotten when they were young. Well, now he's probably thinking, man, these guys in jail look hot. You know, like, I could probably, <laughs> now I can rape people in prison and probably get away with it. Like now stars. his name and his action will be hide. <laughs> oh, man. I think we should probably. Oh, I- rawhide I, I, i'm thinking i should probably wrap it up we we, you know um oh yeah dude it's fucking what time is it three hour show not bad it's a fun night dude yeah hey, you know what Tuesday. i'm starting so, to realize too that it's it's getting cold down here my legs are freezing and i'm like fuck it's, it's yeah it's getting to the point of that year where i gotta either whip out the heater or wear pants and i gotta wear pants Ooh, and it's then up. we whip out the dick, take them off. Thank Uh-oh. you, Jennifer, uh, for letting us know. <laughs> mm. Well, Joe, you have a good night. We'll uh, see you on Monetize This, if not sooner. Yep, uh, I will. Allison, since I, Allison. yeah, I mean, ev- it's weird that ever since all these horrific things have happened in the NFL to Allison's people, Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers, that now Allison has been pretty missing in action. Ever since, I mean, I really am worried about Allison. She's dad's watch, bro. I someone check on her. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. You really need to try Claca Casantes. <laughs> um. So anyway, guys, yeah, uh, I'll leave the Discord. Mr. Pico, great job. Right. Uh, Rojas, everybody else, RP, D Welsh, donating to Ghost from the Coast, one hundred fifty bucks. Anything you guys want to say before I let you go and I wrap up? Always nerdy for monetize this champion on Saturday. Be there. Tell your friends that um, some douchebag's gonna dress up like some. Trans Always breed. ravioli. Dylan. Always, Always ravioli. ravioli. Dylan Mulvaney might show up. Another trans person. So look forward to this Saturday. Monetize oh, this. I can't wait to see what cross dressing shit is gonna happen. <laughs> with always nerdy on monetize this and i will be live for the aw review tomorrow night i am going to go live again uh to review aw tomorrow night allison's floating in the green bay jesus christ yo tennis racket jones whoa i don't know if that's really tennis racket but it is a name that says tennis racket jones and you know i love tennis racket jones so much that even if it's not the real tennis racket jones i am you know, happy to pay homage to Tennis Racket Jones because I loved his songs so much. Tennis Racket Jones. He made hits. Guy made fucking hits. Let's let's dig up a Tennis Racket Jones hit because he's just so good. So good. So good. I can't even get into that Patriots p- player. Like he, I guess his son was there. How old was the son? I mean, this guy was like 50-something. I I didn't know. He, I hope the kid wasn't young. Right next to his dad when he gets knocked out and killed. It, I mean, that's so fucking crazy. I can't believe there's no charges filed. That's not that the guy meant to kill him, but, I mean, it's just weird that <clears throat> there's not some kind of charge being filed by somebody. Like, it's fucking very confusing to me.
Tennis Racket Jones. Let's dial up the Tennis Racket Jones. Monica Stitz. Monica Stitz. What's this one? Tennis Rocket Jones. Even though your own show is shit. All you dick riding fucks with your minuscule channels. All your huffing Cronin's vids like an army, army of camels. camels. Sit and copy your shit. Make your own monetize this. You got 13 subscribers. Now you're starting to twitch. You got the same mic and setup. Stop riding his dick. You got the same Skype setup. Who you trying to kid? Get your own fucking gimmick. Intellectual property. You're trying to pass Joe like he's going Monopoly. You want me making 200 bucks. You're getting fucked by the long cock attendance racket Jones. Cause fuck with me. You're taking your take and you never give it back. Sitting hitting all the same six whips. In the chat, I like you were riding on Cronin's dick. Even though your own Yo, show is say. shit. Chris Peeps is about as real as a spray tan. Face looking like it's grazed by a rape van. You dumb fucked up, cuck butt. You suck butt. Your cunt's bloody. You dumb fuck, and your mom's a slut. Uh, and while I'm at it, fuck you, leech, motherfuckers. Hope these words leave you shitting in your sheets, motherfuckers. You are corny little bitches. This is beef, motherfuckers. Watch me beat, meet, skeet, skeet, skeet on your mothers. I'm starting to think Joe Cronin should start charging admission for all the people that are riding on his dick these days. Fuck. Get your own ideas. I like you and riding now. Call the show or I will fuck your ass. It's uh, got to be one of my favorite lines of all time. <clears throat> and now, should we do a wholesome moment? Let's end. The, we'll end the show with a wholesome moment, guys. I'm the Monetize This Champion and the Monetize This Belt. This belt is on the line Saturday night. Do you really think anybody can take it from me? I don't think so. Nobody. No big dog. No former cocksucker. Nobody current cocksucking. Nobody's going to take my monetize this championship away from me. You don't have a hope in hell. Just remember that. You ain't got a hope in hell. <laughs> and now for a wholesome moment with me and my daughter from a few years back before I bought this house. Hanging out on Grammy's porch. It's a wholesome moment brought to you by the Joe Cronin Show. And I uh, want to say thank you to everybody, man who uh, made the last championship night fucking crazy. And there it is, baby. You try to take it from me. You can't. You can't, baby. Ow! I love you all. And thanks to everybody who donated last week, man. And tonight, the ghost from the coast dropping the 150. D. Welsh dropping the hundy bomb. Fucking wet, baby. Wet. Crazy night. Now, here's a wholesome moment. Wholesome moment with me and my daughter. <laughs> and no, no. <laughs> I'm wearing my own shirt. <laughs> oh, wholesome moment with me and my daughter from years ago. Classic. I think I was live streaming that day. I think. Not 100%. I got wholesome moments. Wholesome moments. We got wholesome moments on this show sometimes. And they're beautiful. Wholesome moments. Wholesome moments. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime 
for a moment like this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me run down the list. Jennifer Muppet Baby for the dono. Broken Lion for the dono. D. Welsh 100. The Ghost from the Coast 150. Jennifer Muppet Baby for the memberships, the donations. Chase Weatherwalks, the membership. Evo General. Mr. Pico Boulevard. And the villain earlier. 45 months in a row for the villain. A. O'Donnell. Also patrons on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. $25 producers a month. Shout out to the $25 producers who are every month $25 producers on Patreon. We could use some more, and you get all those crazy things on Patreon. Think about jumping on the Patreon with the Ghost from the Coast and Sith Negan, John Wood, Brian Jardine, Alan Stober, Snake Bait, Snark Bait, Snark Bait, Colonel Stutters, Dion Edwards, Stevie O, James Beggs, Sith Negan, Nick J, The Weed, God, Drew Ball 100, Matt Rossmeyer, and Alex O'Donnell. Could you be added to this list? I hope you do, and you check out all the podcasts, downloadable podcasts. There's so many of them on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Check out my Patreon. We got a song to play to end this thing, or... I don't know, we get some kind of song, or... <clears throat> I don't know, something to play? I don't know. I'm trying to... I don't know. Should we? I'm trying to find something to play. Um. Keep on playing your video games, stinky ass boy. Um. Boy, do people love to scapegoat that guy. Jesus. All right, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I'm looking for a song to go out to. Let's see. Maybe this would do it. All right, I can think of no other way to go out tonight after what we talked about wrestling-wise than I guess AEW is dead. Tomorrow night is AEW Dynamite. We'll be talking about that, but, I mean, maybe maybe, maybe it's the song. Maybe it's AEW is dead. I don't know. Let's see you tomorrow, guys. Love you all. Hit the like button and love you long time. I'm it's Joe Cronin.
It's about dick, it's about penis, men are from Mars, but I'm from Venus. Put it in the butt, spick them in the shower, and take what's ours. I want to drain the main vein, prostate massage so insane until you scream. We go hump them, mingle suck their dick off. We go hump them, mingle suck their dick off.